Right. Good afternoon, everyone. It is almost five o'clock in the evening here in Orlando, Florida. We are at Walt Disney World. Right now, we are walking up to the entrance of Disney's Walk Resort as we are going to head in the International Gateway for Epcot's Festival of the Arts. I hope everyone's having a great week. You made it to Wednesday. We were going to go live yesterday from Epcot, but it's been raining, raining, raining here. But today ended up being a really nice day. It is a little chilly. It's in the 50s right now, about 55. Going to drop down to the 40s tonight, which is very cold for Florida. Hey. We are rocking the Adventures by Carney hoodie in the gray. We have sweatshirts in the gray and black. I think there's just a few of you left. You want some? And you're a little chilly. I hear it's all around the country. Go check out our Discord. It's free. The link's down below in the description. Go into the merch channel. Find out what's available. Bill and Lynette have them slinging sweatshirts. We also still have t-shirts. We have a few Christmas shirts left. We have a few Animal Kingdom 25th anniversary shirts left. Uh, I think we're sold, out, we're sold out of water bottles. I think we're sold out of hats. So if you want some of those, let me know. We'll order more. Whoa, that sun is bright. Another way you could really help out, hit that like button. It really does help. Helps the algorithm. Makes me very happy and excited. And of course, I would be delighted if you could subscribe to the channel. When you subscribe, make sure you got that bell on. You hit all notifications so you don't miss any of these live streams or any of the quick shorts or fun videos we do. Yesterday we did a little comedy review. If you missed the short, check it out after this. Here we have the Cake Bake Shop. It's been coming soon for quite a while and it's very slow moving. This would have been a fun project to put bets on when they were gonna finish this because as you can tell right now, it is very quiet behind those walls. Anyway, like I was saying, it's been a little, a little rainy here. So today's nice, it's chilly. Film. I'm still, I got the sweat, but we're rocking the shorts today. We should see some friends on this stream tonight. We got, I think Glenn and Suzanne, Avery uh, are here at Epcot tonight. Tonight, I really want to show as much of the art as possible and the entertainment also show you some of the uh broadway concert series going on in the america gardens theater so for festival of the arts you know like for food and wine they have the eat to the beat concert series for flower and garden they have the uh, garden rocks for festival of the arts they bring in broadway stars who have starred in a lot of the disney on broadway shows whether it be aladdin mary poppins Beauty and the Beast, The Lion King, the list goes on. But those stars are here, and they'll be singing uh, some Broadway and Disney classics. So you don't want to miss that. If you'd like to share the stream with a family or friend who you think might like it, I'd appreciate it. But yeah, nice. On the Disney Boardwalk. I think we're kicking off the stream saying hi to Avery. I said if you wanted to grab a beer together, I mean with the rose and crown on the way in. So, Glenn and Suzanne, if you're watching, I'm headed to the rose and crown. Yeah, the rain has been a shame because some of my favorite things to do here are the paint bimber on the wall, which they really don't do if it's raining hard, and uh, the chalk art on the ground, which washes away in the rain. So I'm happy that it's opening day video. You can check that out after this as well, where we did a bunch of food reviews, drink reviews, and just partied around the world with all the other 
vloggers, bloggers, and live streamers. We had a bunch of friends with us that day. It was a really, really fun day. We have a Disney Skyliner transportation update. In order to perform the planned maintenance, all Disney Skyliner lines will be unavailable from the 16th to the 21st. Service to and from Disney's Riviera and Epcot will be, what? Will continue to be unavailable through the January 27th. Jeez. So you could use the buses or the friendship boats. So for those coming to town, if you don't know, now you know. We come this way, uh, we used to come this way all the time whenever we came to Epcot. Friendship boat coming on right now. Uh, we've been mixing it up, entering from the front now that the world celebration is open. Today we're starting back here because I wanted to do some of the stuff that was in the world showcase as well as the Broadway shows. But I should point out, smoking and vaping is not allowed in the Disney theme parks. This is one of the smoking areas here to the right where you can kind of go under the bridge. But if you smoke or vape, that's the spot for you. So if you're in the World Showcase, it's right between France and the UK. You can come out the International Gateway and that's the spot. There's also a restroom right before you enter. This is where you can pick up the Skyliner. Another fun fact, if you're about to get on the Skyliner and you can go really fast, there's actually a restroom right up where the line starts. Well, I would say it's, uh, it's gonna be tight if you leave your family in line, you're better off just going down here before you get in line. But if you're getting off the Skyliner and you really got to go, you don't have to walk too far. When you get off and you disembark, the bathroom's underneath the canopy. Just some fun facts. Ugh, I'm a little stuffy today. I'm sorry if you could... I hate, like, the sound of me breathing. It's just been weird weather. Of, like, 80 degrees one day, then 55 degrees the next. All right, I can't film security, so enjoy some Disney pavement. Have a good day. How are you? Thank you. Thank you. That's fun. You too, Mike. So it does those uh, silly noises and those paint splotches because this magic band has figured on it. This is the one from the 2020 Festival of the Arts. Fun stuff. Okay. Uh, okay. Once again, if you're just joining us, we're walking in the International Gateway into Epcot, our old Disney World for Festival of the Arts 2024. We're gonna see some of the Broadway shows tonight, check out some art. A little less of a party <laughs> than opening day, which was a ton of fun. Again, if you missed it, you can check it out after this. We had a great time on our Patreon Zoom call the other night. Big shout out to all the Patreons making this channel happen. If you want to check out Patreon, you just go to patreon.com. You can search Adventures by Carney or just go to patreon.com backslash Adventures by Carney. Check out uh, how you can support the channel. And again, thank you so much to all the Patreons. See what's happening here. 
a little empty today. It's like a much different scene than opening day of Festival of the Arts. Cheers. <laughs> What's up? I don't know. I'll give you a hug. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you. Avery's here, everyone. Hello, everybody. How are you? I'm swell, man. How are you? It's nice and toasty in here. It is. It's a little, a little nippy out there. It's a little nippy. That's why we're rocking the, the sweatshirt. This is uh, That's for you. Thanks, buddy. It's a little something. I appreciate it. I'll stick it on my bag. Yeah, throw it in there. How's the day been? been pretty good. Uh, it's been it's a beautiful Epcot day. Today was a great day. Yeah, yesterday I was telling everybody I planned to be here, but it was just raining on and off all day long. It was a lot. Yeah. But now that we've had 12 hours of dry, yeah, it was a beautiful day today. And it's, yeah, gorgeous. <laughs> chilly, but not too chilly. Yeah, no, this is, I'm going to sweatshirt and shorts. How are you? Good, how are you? Happy New Year. Happy New Year, man. It's true, I am. I've returned from the loo. There was a bathroom <laughs> right there, and I didn't even think about it. Uh, the Grocery Crown bathrooms are good. They're good. What are you drinking? Uh, I might just do a beer. A harp, maybe. Okay. I don't know what I want. What are you drinking? We, I had Pims and I was at the Fox, Fox something or other. One of the blends. One of the blend things, yeah. Okay. Uh, golden Fox. Golden Fox. The Golden Fox, yes, golden yes. Fox. Not too busy out there. No, this it, is it's, great. Yeah. I, I've been telling everyone, if you're coming, go to Festival of the Arts on like a Tuesday or a Wednesday. Yeah. It's the best days yeah. to be here. Got some art signed. Friday great. and weekends. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Where'd you get your art from? Yeah. Oh, very cool. Big fan. Let's see. Yeah, can we see yeah, what you got? Yeah. Let's get a, let's get an art show going. Oh, let's see. There's, oh, there's her art. You know, that's so cool. And Shen piece. Customized right there. Yeah. Yep, yep. The signature right there. Yeah. And then, and then I'm very excited about. Oh, that's a great one. Figment in the Dreamfinder. Super cool. I didn't see this. We were here last night. I didn't see it. I, I'm obsessed. That's really cool. Obsessed. I like that. Those are both great. Obsessed. There you go. A good day for Artin. A good day for Artin. We've done every <laughs> festival. That's awesome. Yeah. Look at that. That was so exciting the first time, Lauren. I did that like before we moved here. We were like, so yeah. we, did, we tried to do the same thing. Like within a year, yeah, within 12 months, I think we got to every festival once and we were like super pumped. Yeah. We were like, yeah, that was like a big accomplishment. Checked all the boxes. And then we moved here. We were like, oh, now we can go to all the festivals all the time. Although Lauren still hasn't been to this year's Festival of the Arts yet. I want, woo! She was supposed to come with me tonight, but, uh, she always has high hopes, and then she gets home from school, and she just, like, it's sits down for a minute, and she's like, I can't. Yeah. yeah, I can't do it. I'm like, I get it. Yeah, she knows that life. I was like, what if we take two cars and you leave early? She's like, I can't even drive the car. I'm like, all right, forget it. Shout out to teachers. Shout out to teachers. Go, yeah. Lauren. Did you watch any of the Broadway shows last night? We've not okay. seen any of the shows. Uh, who was it yesterday? Gavin Creel? Oh, no, 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 not no. Gavin Creel. Lee. Gavin, Gavin Lee. Lee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And is is he tonight? Is Russell Brickenstaff? Is that right? It's something nifty like that. Okay, okay. <laughs> well, we'll find out. We sure will. Because we're going to catch a few of those shows tonight. Hopefully at least one or two. Mary Poppins and the shoes Freaky Friday, is that right? Freaky Friday. Yeah. Yeah. Freaky Freaky Friday. Friday. Nope. I, I know they yeah, swap the bodies, yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> and it takes place on a Friday. Yep. <laughs> saw some Diz folks here. That was cool. From uh, the Diz? From the Diz. Nice. Uh, Rhino. Rhino. And Craig. And Craig. Craig. Nice. That's yeah. awesome. They were just out at Disneyland this week, I think. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They went on the run thing. Uh, yeah, the, the run Disney moved to the West Coast. Yeah, yeah. Congrats to everybody who ran both coast i know uh, a few people who did it ali kenny shout out to you guys if you're watching they did the races here and the races on the west coast it's a lot of miles good for you guys yeah kenny did all four races here 5k 10k half marathon full marathon uh with mike and then him and mike flew out to the west coast and they did the 10k and the half marathon there yeah that is mother
pearl Mother material. Of pearl. Yeah. <laughs> Mother of opal. Uh, <laughs> that is wild. Harp. That would be awesome. What are you getting? Probably gonna do a pimps and see if they have ginger ale. Okay. Uh, Decision time. Okay. Good solid choice. Can't go wrong. So a solid trip so far? Having fun? Yes. Yeah. Even with the threat of rain, Monday, Tuesday. Um, yeah. We got a little wet last night on our way out. Um, but really wasn't that bad and then today i mean it's cold but the sun's been out yeah so it, i don't mind a little cold it's yeah. i just keep telling myself this is so much warmer than the rest of the country be thankful be thankful yeah. <laughs> yeah no i mean even in alabama it's been like 16 17 degrees yeah, that's crazy there was a graphic someone up this morning that right now florida has all four seasons in one because up north especially along the uh panhandle area yeah it's like freezing, like below freezing. And then as you move down towards Miami, where it's still like in the 70s. So you're like, you have summer through winter, spring and fall across the state of Florida. No, but today I'll take the sun out. That's why like, I'm wearing the sweatshirt also because I knew I was going to be here later on. It's supposed to drop to the 40s, but shorts, still shorts weather for me. Yeah. yeah. No, um, we would do that as well. I'm from Michigan originally. Yeah. And when so you can handle a little yeah, cold. When the highs were in the 50s, we were like, oh, shorts and a sweatshirt, you're good. Yeah, it's my favorite kind of weather. Yeah, I would remind me of, yeah, like the I've fall pumpkin picking weather. Yeah, we just get it in January. Yeah, I'm just happy it was dry today because I wanted. I was telling him I wanted to be here yesterday, but with the rain on and off, and like it's hard to stream in the rain. One, but two, I wanted to see like the chalk art and the stuff on the ground. And I'm like, you need a few dry hours for them to do the chalk art. And let it stick. <laughs> no, today has been lovely. Yeah. Like, yeah, Avery texted me earlier and was just like, it's a perfect Epcot day. I was like, I know. <laughs> I wanted to get here at ASAP, but this is the time we ended up. Because then I was like, I had a project I was working on and it ran a little late and I was gonna rush over here, but then Lauren was gonna be home in like 45 minutes. So she's like, you just wait till I come home and say hi. I was like, all right. And then we hung out a little bit and I, wa I wanted to finish a video. Uh, do you, you watch WWNC, right? Yeah. So Eric Morton's brother, Andy, uh, is having uh, some health issues. And I had uh, a video of his band when they did their, they did a big show up in Kansas last year. We went and saw it together, me and Eric. And it was a whole road trip we did up there. So, uh, oh, thank you so much. Thank you, my heart. So I wanted to finish that and get it over to him so he could see it, maybe cheer him up a little bit in the hospital. Uh, so I finished that, and then I was like, all right, I'm running to Epcot. Cheers. 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 To Festival of the Arts. Happy Festival of the Arts. You're saying Eric, Eric's brother's having some health issues? Some health issues, yeah. Oh, it's a bummer. Did they have ginger ale? So, look at that. So what do you, what do you put in your pims? Well, uh, Just pims and ginger ale, that's it? Yeah, and usually there's some kind of like lemon thing. Something on it? A, a squeeze? Yeah, what, they got a cucumber in there? Oh, wow. I didn't even know they had cucumbers here because that means they can make my drink. What's your drink? So my Carney Avenger requires muddling cucumber, but it's, uh, it's a premium gin. So like, I, I think I have Hendrix here. Hendrix and ginger ale uh, in a pint glass over ice. But uh, before you add the ice, obviously you muddle a bunch of cucumber with a, a squeeze of lemon and lime. And it is heaven in a cup. It is so good, yeah. And if people like it sweeter, I actually say you could put a strawberry in there. So the fact that they have it here, it's quality. It's good stuff. Yeah, yeah. We were weighing in on, I'm sorry. No, no, go ahead, we were weighing in. We were weighing on this earlier. I don't know if you want to input. If they, with their Dream Finder figment movie coming out, who would play Dream Finder? We were talking about it when I got the painting. I can't say that I'm the Dream Finder contractually, no. Uh, <laughs> who would be a good Dream Finder? I don't know. Let me think. Like, let's say, so comic Dream Finders, like 30s, 40s? Like, if we're thinking, like, maybe 50s or 60s, so, like, more with, like, the ride kind of Dream Finder, like, old Santa Claus. -ish. Did you ever. Yeah, but ginger. But you could you could dye anyone to ginger. I mean, I'd be I, I I'll allow it as a ginger. 
Uh, did you did you ever watch Survivor back in the day? At all? Oh, there was a character Rupert, and he had this like jolly pirate personality. He had a beard and like shaggy long hair. That if it was red, he reminded me kind of like of Dreamfinder vibes. Uh, but let me think celebrities instead. People who watched Survivor back in the day, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, yes, he if he could play like if he could be jolly, he'd be amazing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, he like protected. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah he would be great actually. And he's got, and he already has like the build and body. Like, oh man. We said Paul Giamatti earlier for like older Dreamfinder. Yeah, I guess if the Dreamfinder had an, maybe like in his prime, like 10 years ago, Giamatti would have been great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, although he's winning Oscars now, so I guess in his career wise, he's in his prime, but. Like when he was younger, younger. What's up, man? Are you live? Yeah. Told me to. Oh. What's up? Theme parks. Assemble. They're live. We're all live everywhere. How's your day been? Yeah, you're you're rocking the pants today. I do like the the old school Chicago pants. The Bulls pants are, that's those are fire. What uh? Where you having a debate? Weigh in. Well, ask your people too. Oh, you're 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 losing stream. If, if you had to pick anyone to play Dreamfinder in the movie, who would you pick to play the Dreamfinder, celebrity-wise? I know, right? It's hard. It's a tough one. It's hard. I, or just... I can't remember the, like... Or just cast Joe Rohde. I mean... Cast Joe Rohde. Yeah. Yes, please. He'd have to take the earring out, but I mean, it would be awesome. They have CGI for that now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yes. Thank you for saying hi before you uh, end your stream. Yeah, we're going to be hanging. We'll be making our way around. Yeah, theme parks assemble. Thanks. Appreciate it. Yeah, this is a good one. Celebrity-wise, all my guesses are like people from shows or that worked for Disney. Um, man, oh, man. Who is a good... Let me see what the chat says. I guarantee people have weighed in. Uh, nah, we're good, we're good. David Harbour? I don't even know who that is. David Harbour, Randy oh, said. Stranger Things. Stranger Things. I've never seen Stranger I, Things. Oh, uh, I know. Hmm, I haven't seen that yet either. That's fun, yeah. I dig that. <laughs> she said a very <laughs> serious dream fighter. I don't know. I think, but I think it depends on like what again, like if you do the comic dream finder, he's he's young and spry, but like if you do if the movies like Ride Dream Finder, you're you're in your sixty seventies. You could pick someone anywhere in that range, yeah. But he's more like I mean he's a cute little rotund person. He's Santa Claus. Yeah. And can still be spry. And is Santa Claus very spry. It's got a lot to do. Just keep it Tim Allen with the theme of <laughs> <laughs> Randy said anyone but Chris Pratt. Yeah, he's he's on too many IPs. He's on, he's already all over the parks. Can we just talk about how iconic that must be for him? If you're a theme park fan, that he's on, in my opinion, one of the coolest rides at Disney right now. At Guardians of the Galaxy, he's in the pre-show. It's his actual face doing that. And then if you go to Universal, he's in the pre-show in the ride for Velocicoaster for the Jurassic World series. doing the So, like, your face is plastered on two of the best rides in Orlando at the same time on some of the best IPs. No one can go to Orlando without seeing Chris Pratt. It's kind of crazy. I mean, in terms of, like, bragging rights, you'd be like, you know, like, roughly a million people see me a week, like, you know, easily. Uh, yeah, it's kind of crazy. I'm going to try it and think of Dreamfinder people as we go through the stream. Um, which way are you guys walking? Right. No, no, we have, we have a 7 o'clock. Yeah, well, this is loop free for us. We, oh, dang. We have 7 o'clock uh, Guardians of the Galaxy-ish. Yes. Okay. We're going to be called, and then we have a 8 o'clock Remy, and that's it. Nice. I was going to do the second show of Broadway, so I have a little time now. I was going to walk towards the front to just see if the, any chalk art is out or done, and maybe do a little paint-by-number to show that on the stream, too. Uh, no, no, that's why I was asking if you want to go that way, or we'll walk, we'll walk in chat. Oh, then boom, boom, and let's go. Yeah, I put on a spirit jersey at first, and Lauren's like, you know what's going to be in the 40s while you're still streaming? And I was like, all right, we're rocking the sweatshirt tonight. <laughs> 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 yeah. 
Yeah, right. Uh, right, right there. Yeah. Soul actually showing at the AMC at Disney Springs right now. As uh, like the comeback, they cool, they bring back movies, which is great for me because I haven't seen so many movies. I had to go see them in theaters for the first time. Soul, I actually did see when it came out, but I haven't seen Wish yet. I gotta see Wish. All I know is the music is heavily copyrighted and will shut down a live stream. From experience here at Epcot. <laughs> Oh yeah, the old, uh, the old. She's borrowing Pluto's gazebo. Yeah. This band, we saw them uh, on Friday night. They were rocking, a lot of energy. We have now entered Canada. Can you feel it? it smells like maple syrup. <laughs> While we walk, I'm gonna say hi to some people in the chat. Quick, if you haven't hit the like button yet, we got about 100 people hanging out and only 65 likes. Please hit that like button, it really does help. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button, get the bell on, hit all notifications. Going back, Rebecca Dolan says, woo, first stream with wrench privileges. Yes, Rebecca just upgraded her Patreon. Thank you so much. Also welcome to Ryan McCann, Mike Graney, and my man, Charlie Wop, who all just became Patreon members in the last month. So thank you so much. What's going on to Ultra Vision Prime Tomorrowland Traveler in the house? Go follow the Tomorrowland Traveler on YouTube. I also can go to his website, thetomorrowlandtraveler.com. You can follow him. Oh my gosh, I can't talk. You could find his YouTube channel there. And he books vacations. So if you're coming to Disney Universal, a Disney Cruise Line, or just any kind of vacation, go to the website. He'll hook you up. I guarantee it'll be, if not the same exact price, cheaper, but you get the amazing service plus. Tori is a vacation guru. That's his wife. By the way. What else is going on? Chief Leaf in the house. Also, big happy birthday to Dawn. Yesterday was Dawn's birthday. Happy birthday, Dawn. Woo! Peaches P, good afternoon. Great to see you. Hi to Bill. Hi, Lynette. David Lung. Peter says it was another snow day here in the DC area. We don't know how to manage with the ice and snow around here. Yeah, there were some funny videos coming out of Long Island. But I guess people forgot how to drive in the snow. I'm going this way anyway. We'll cut up this way. We'll uh, we'll show the menu to Pop Eats. That line does not quit. No, Pop Eats, very very popular booth. I mean, the food's good every year. This is why we didn't eat it on opening day because the line was so long. But the food delivers uh, every year that it's been here. A little monorail check. Over here at Pop Eats, you have the tomato soup with the grilled cheese. You have tomato soup with pimento cheese, bacon, and fried green tomato grilled cheese. And you have Rock the Dots, white chocolate and orange mousse with a vanilla bean chiffon cake. That's how they look right there. And then they also have a Brooklyn Brewery Pulp Art Hazy IPA and the Blanc de Bleu Cuvée Moussou, which is super fun to say. And this booth is right across from what we call the old Starbucks bathroom. Now it's the Swirled Showcase, a new, a new uh, festival booth location. But this was the temporary Starbucks while they were completing World Celebration next to uh, one of the busier but larger restrooms here as you enter the World Showcase on the Canadian side. And one of those beautiful Florida sunsets right there. All right, where did I leave off? Sorry, I want to say hi to everyone. I'm making my way down, just making my way down. Hello. Hey. No. From the back. Suzanne's Hello. here. You. I'm good. I'm great. It's a nice day today. Finally, we have a no rain, as yes. Blind Melon says. Yes. How's uh, Glenn feeling? Not great. Oh man. Not good. 
we're thinking about him. Sorry, that's Kate. Uh, Kate and Avery. Avery's uh, just in the opera. Uh, yeah. I, I don't need gifts. Oh, yes. I think you need that one. This is super cool. And this, of course. The Charger has made its way home. I'm, I'm so happy because I was like, did I, I was like, I feel like I gave it to somebody, but I was like, it's all right. Oh, well. Oh, thank you so much. Look at this. So many fun little things. The gift that keeps on giving us a stream. <laughs> the lightning. Oh, that's fun. I like it. Yeah, I'm getting swag. Suzanne, this is Avery. Maybe this is Suzanne. Nice to meet you. All right, we're going to hide this in here. We're gonna, no, we'll do this right in the back pocket. We got a bag if you need it for the moment. I think we can fit it. There we go. The cooler bag? Oh, no. Tonight, because, well, that was a mega long day, and I had a million things. Tonight, I was like, we're just going to look at art, watch some shows. It'll be nice. We're going to check out the paint by number now. Are you hanging out or are you going back? I'm going to go back. I'm going to get some okay. to eat, and then I'm going to go check on him. All right. Sending my best. I know. At least you got a few days in. I mean, we, yeah. No, I just, I think it's cold. Oh, I see. It's crazy with this weather. Yeah, you never know. Yeah, it's like 80, then 40. Everyone's got like a sniffle, cold going on down here. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I've been washing my hands nonstop. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. You guys will be back in a few months, right? Yes. Okay. Awesome. Well, send up, tell them I said hi. Safe travels. Yeah, we'll have a good time. Thank you for coming to drop that off. Yeah. Good luck. It's all right. Yeah. Yeah. You're at Disney. It's fun to walk. Yeah. It's the only place I'm okay with walking. It's Disney, I think. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. See you later. Nice to meet you. That was very nice. Hello to everyone who's just joining us. We've got about 110 people here. That's awesome. We're just kicking off a fun night here at Epcot's Festival of the Arts. If you haven't hit the like button yet, please do so. For some reason, when you hit 100 likes, YouTube gives you a little bit of extra love. We're going to go check out the paint by number, which I can see straight ahead. And then we'll go check out some artwork. And then head back into the World Showcase, making our way towards America for some Broadway performances. Oh, that's a new one. I haven't seen that one yet. We know the way. <laughs> behind here you know it's so crazy because like they built a the playground and then they boarded it up and then they took it down for a festival and they boarded it back up i don't know what they're doing back here i mean they even like did work on the booth structure i guess because like this yeah. is kind of like a permanent festival booth so like maybe installing like better plumbing or heating or air conditioning but i'm not sure where they put it back up i guess i'll have to take a monorail ride to see what's going on back there or maybe we'll walk up there later So I thought about this too. Uh, Seth Rogen's producing the Figment movie. So I want to Oh, have Seth Rogen. he would be a great dream finder yeah, too. Yeah, that's yeah, a, that may be the thing. Like that, that might was the be. Oh. Problem. I mean, I'll if produce he's smart. it as long as I'll produce it as long as I can play dream finder. Yeah, that would be great. <laughs> so here's your paint by a number. Oh, wow. Uh their paint distribution stations right behind me, but I forget, I think they close it at five o'clock every day. So if you want to paint yourself. You go get your number, you walk over here. Usually there's a cast member right before the one on the ground. And they'll tell you which number to go to on the ground. Then you find your number with the color of your paint and you paint it on in. And when you look at it from a distance, it's Epcot. You can see Spaceship Earth, Guardians of the Galaxy right there. All the way over to the monorail, the land pavilion, the seas. This is a good one. All right, we'll keep looping for more art. We'll just go the long loop. Still working on this building over here, the Communicore building. That'll be a meet and greet and festival space. Basically what it was before they started all this construction. Yeah, there it is. So if you want to paint, it's 11 to five every day.
it's funny when uh i was asking where it was I forgot who i was talking to but they're like oh you know the area kind of on the way to imagination i was like oh the old the lion king planters with the flowering garden and like yeah, yeah right there Um, I'm fine with it. I mean, obviously, I would wish they did a little bit more. I think it really comes alive at night. Yeah. At night, I love it. I think it's very Epcot at night. During the day, we call it the quad. Uh, <laughs> it's just like kind of a college campus. We're going to walk through it now for people who haven't seen it. We are talking about, and I hope no one steals this idea, or, or at least help me make the shirt so we can get it out faster. But since it looks like a, <laughs> uh, like a college campus over there, we wanted to make... Epcot fraternity sorority shirts, like oh, Epsilon Pi, <laughs> you know, whatever, or like Rush Epcot, you know, <laughs> Pledge Epcot, uh, and then maybe do a little Adventures by Carney on the back or something like that, but I think it would be fun. I don't, I mean, uh, they're absolutely beautiful when they bloom. I've never noticed the pods. Situation going on here. There's a Navi situation. <laughs> Should we just shake one loose, try to bite into it? Like, see what goes on? <laughs> nice, what'd you think? I, really love it. I think it's very cute too. I told everyone everything can't be an e ticket. You need some walkthrough family attractions. We're looking at the back of Moana, so these bamboo shoots going up between here and Spaceship Earth. That's the journey of water for Moana. We've done it a bunch of times here on the channel. If you've missed it, check it out. And then to the right is the unfinished communicar area we've seen from the other side here. Yeah, and they haven't worked on this because this has looked like this for a month. On the other side. I don't know if they just didn't order enough tiles because these tiles have been open <laughs> for a month. Like, just... Yeah. I've taken pictures of this from every angle, and I'm, or, I'm so excited. I mean, in a, in a fun way, not like for a hurricane if anyone gets hurt, but if the first hurricane that hits us in like August, September, I'm posting a picture of this building being like, we got hit hard at Epcot. <laughs> <laughs> and here we are in the quad. So this is usually one of the meet and greets area over here in the uh, Rust Umbrellas. That's where you can usually meet Daisy during the day. to the right with those translucent lamps a lot of charging stations a lot of seating this is probably where i'd recommend this is where i'm gonna come do work if it's not raining that was my plan yesterday yeah the, the wood uh and concrete together there's some tables a nice picnic table over here and then we're in the main i guess the the center of the or you know the spine of the park these rings at night light up, come alive. They've had some issues with their repairing it, but you didn't read the news or hear. When they took out the fiber optics, they put this in and we were like, yay, colors and lights. Hey, here are the people that photographed the magic. Yeah, big shout out to cast members. Look at this beautiful view. So yeah, I guess when they were sealing these and they moved uh, to the uh, LEDs underground, uh, for those who don't know, they come through and power wash the parks every night and the power wash was stronger than the seal, so it knocked out a few sections of the lighting opening week. Uh, I think they are working on repairing it or finding a better sealant, or maybe just power washing around them for now and finding another solution for on top or lowering that pressure. But it's really beautiful because at night, these white uh, stanchions kind of come alive, the lighting inside the trees and the planters all come alive along with Spaceship Earth, and the lights sync up to Spaceship Earth, to the songs, to the music, and it's uh, really, really beautiful. And you can see Walt straight ahead, right there, taking pictures of people. Dreamer's Point, right there. All right, let's go find more art. Just chilling. Just chilling, creating a Disney villain. More of that seating area over here. Yeah. This is gonna be the new festival center, yes? Yes, festival center and meet and greet, yeah. I think all the seating makes sense. No, I'm, I'm for it. They needed seating up here. Yeah. Um, I think what everyone's saying, which I, which I agree with, obviously, is that I really wish that center planter involved the fountain oh, be because great. they took the fountain out. And honestly, you know what? Like, it, I don't think it would be that hard. No, I mean, they had the plumbing. They'd ha they would have had to run the lines previously, 
But having a fountain there to do the shows, and also with the lighting sequences, with all these beautiful lights they put around the garden area, to light that fountain just to accentuate Spaceship Earth and the lighting on the ground would have been really, really nice. I don't know anything about this, but I mean, there's probably some irrigation in there for for plant, uh, yeah. watering and stuff. For yeah, sure, yeah, everything's nice. underground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's but all in there. Know. I mean, yeah, they could always rip it up. I mean, they've but they had it behind walls for over four years. It would have been the perfect opportunity. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Uh, obviously, a fountain requires a lot more money to run and a lot more maintenance. So Disney may have dialed that back t at one point. Even in the artwork, there's a fountain in the concept art. Yeah. So a planter, you just have to run some water, and it rains in Florida all the time, so you don't have to worry about it too much or maintain it. Yeah. So definitely a cheaper option to put in one to install and to maintain. But uh, it's a shame. And who knows? Maybe when Disney frees up some money, they're guaranteeing $60 billion into the parks. They come back with those plans they originally drew up and put a fountain in. You never know. You never know. Nothing. No ideas died, Disney, which is nice. Favorite uh, food thus far? Have you had anything? Yeah, we did a bunch of food on Friday. And a lot of food that came, uh, a lot of food is like repeats from last year. Yeah, yeah. So I've had a bunch of it from last year, and we tried a bunch of new stuff. I don't know. I really still – it's a repeat, but over in Germany, the Bray short rib with the parsnip puree, it it's just melts in your mouth, peels right off. It's just so good. And when you combine, even when you combine everything on the plate, I think it also has some broccolini, uh, a little tiny balsamic on it. It's just – it's a home run. It's on the to-do list before the night It is. Yeah, I, we'll see. I might have to hit that up too. In, uh, the deconstructed dish was oh yeah that's so, that's a home run every year they have made the portion a little bit smaller from the its debut but it hits it hits a home run every year we showed you to the uh we showed you this the other day where the step into the art here as we make our way down the center into the world showcase you could hop in so all three, there's Wish, there's Mary Poppins, and Sleeping Beauty. There's Sleeping Beauty, there's Mary Poppins, and there's Wish. It looks like no chalk art on the right. So you can see the stanchions along the post. That's normally where the chalk art would be. Anything on the left? Uh, oh, there's some things, yes. We got some chalk art. I was gonna say there's some yesterday. Truly amazing how beautiful these are, and then they just wash away in the rain. <laughs> so cool. That's very cool. If you like the chalk art, hit the like button. We got 140 people hanging out, 90 likes. Love it, supporting Nat Geo, which you can find on Disney Plus. Look at the cat and the mouse. Uh, Aww. This is great. Yeah, these are all amazing. Just art in this moment. Won't be here in a few days. So cool. We were out here yesterday, and it wasn't like we never got super wet. Uh, I mean, it was it was definitely dreary, but. It wasn't miserable. Yeah, and if also you can kind of time it where you could dip in and out of places, yeah. go into pavilions. Yeah. I don't mind a little bit of rain. I tell people when it rains too, like... It was just hard for me when I live stream because I can't... What? Oh, yeah, I'm saying the gimbal's out and exposed. That's why yesterday we were like, you know what? We'll just come tomorrow. I checked first. I looked at your schedule and, and <laughs> Glenn and Suzanne's because I was supposed to see all of you yesterday. And I'm like, oh, they're at Epcot tomorrow too? Perfect. And no rain. We could see the chalk art. We could see the shows. It's such a beautiful day. It is. I mean, my goodness. It's going to be a clear night. We have not seen Luminous. I am. Look at that, Mr. Toad. Babe. It's a great Mr. Toad. Woo! That's nice. Yeah. Dream Fighter holding pigment art. Where? 
right, right up there. Right. Dead ahead. Oh, wow. Look at that. That is great. So here's the dream finder for those who don't know. Who could play this man in the movie? I do like Seth Rogen now that you say it. It, it, it makes a lot of sense. I also kind of like this, like, Mickey painting Mickey and Figment painting Figment. The old uh, Walt Disney Studios, Silly Symphony is great, too. This is a cool... I love this. Thank you so much. That's great. Oswald and Mickey. I gotta get this one for Lauren with all the books. Yes. Yeah. And they're all Disney books. Oh, I love it. Oh, look at that. There's a small one right here as well. Good song. <laughs> it's someone watching the stream. They're like, "Can you buy that for me?" Thank you very much. San Francisco. Here's the wish meet and greet. You know where you can meet that character from that movie. <laughs> is Wish on Disney Plus yet? I really gotta watch it. It is, yeah. It is? Alright. Asha. Meet Asha. Intermittently between 9.30 and 4.15. Yeah. Steak sandwich right here. Oh, fantastic. So good. So good. We we did uh, everything from this booth the other day. And we were like, yes, this booth, everything delivered. You like the pork belly too? Yeah, the pork belly was great. Yeah. We, we liked everything. I mean, it sounds like, oh no, am I going to like it? But at a general consensus, we loved everything from this booth. There was uh, six of us eating. Even the oatmeal stout's delicious. Yeah, coffee old fashioned. I haven't had that. No, you haven't. I was on your list. I'm gonna get All right, okay. here we go. We're going to do, do the coffee old fashioned cocktail. That gives me some more time to catch up with some chat and say hi to everyone. Wow, the Mexico line so different from when <laughs> the other day when we were here, which went all the way back to the trash can. All right, let's, uh, I'm going to put this down here. Use a Disney table or an Epcot trash can. Let's say hi to some chat as the sun sets here on this beautiful world showcase. Is it Asha or Asha? I don't know. I think it's Asha. What country is it supposed to be? Or is it the land of wishes? I don't know. Yeah. All right. While we, while we wait to find out how delicious that coffee old-fashioned cocktail is. Oh, Will Ferrell would make a great dream finder. <gasps> oh, my god! That would be I so good. I love that, good. too. Where is it, you breathe? Oh, uh, yeah. He'll like that, I think. I love that idea. Great idea by Mark. By the way, shout out to Mark Mueller who's here. Ghost host is in the building. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Where did I leave off? There it is. I found my place. Katie McGinnis in the house. What's going on? Great to see you. Thanks for hanging. All right, here we go. Hi, Kelsey. Like I said, ghost host is here. Yeah, it's definitely warmer than the most of the United States, but uh, a chilly night for Orlando. 50s, low 50s right now. Going to go into the 40s uh, while we're live. Thanks again, Mark Mueller in the house. Jason Andrews. Well, that's pretty. Steve Marmelstein is here. How was it? Julianne Long, what's going on? We're going to it right what's up, now? Jules? Yes. Yes. Yeah, the, the sandwich. Yeah. How was the duck? Uh, Hi, Alan Penny says oh, this yes, morning yes, in North I, Alabama it was two degrees. Up, no, everyone's chatting with. Hi, Congrats on uh, you ran right? 
Did we you? both yeah. did. You both yeah. ran, right? He ran very more cool. than me, actually. Oh, congratulations. Yeah, Thank you very much. Yeah. I appreciate that. That's amazing. Yeah, my ankles are still not as forgiving, but it's fine. Hopefully, they, yeah. Hopefully, they heal. I don't know what ankle yeah. exercises yeah. you can do. Just make I don't know. Yeah, that's where I was yeah. like, yeah, is that a thing? Like, do you, like, what do you like? Go over to Fort Wilderness, we'll drop into a hot tub on Disney property. That would be the night to do that. That would be great tonight. Do you have anything good? Like, what favorite things of the festival so far? Uh, this booth, we love everything from the Craftsman Courtyard. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think the still they recall. Here? Here? Yeah. Is it good? Uh, it is very nice. You want to try it? Uh, sure, I'll give it. I'll give it a try. I'll tell you. Let's there's, see. There's a gentleman grilling and smoking right back here. Oh, I saw that. That's I mean, smoking yeah. meat. Smoking, smoking meat. meat. Dude, smoking meat. Sounds like my Not smoking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was. I don't know. My number, yeah. my number like, one. This is a dish. channel for kids. Get it? Get out. Of here. <laughs> what was your favorite uh, food item or beverage? The I think the BLT, the deconstructed BLT. Yeah, yeah that was so far. Good. Deconstructed dish. Everything from there is solid. I don't know if I've had a favorite drink yet. Like the blueberry mochi oh, beer was good. Yeah, that was interesting. Um, the rosé beer in Germany was pretty good. Germany as a whole, we really love that booth too. I think the short rib there is probably my number one favorite uh, item. Yeah, it's right. team short rib. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's just not my number red. one, but it's really it's, solid. It's, it's, yeah. it's a really good dish. But again, I haven't tried everything yet, but I've tried not 70%. Not okay. What, is, what is the favorite thing this that's not your the, number uh, one? BLT. Oh, okay. Yeah. But until we we're going to try this, because yeah. we saw them in a minute and they were ringing. This is this is a top three booth. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> I, so, I that solid. Yeah. Yeah. The only thing we haven't liked, we didn't like the salmon uh, duo in France, and we didn't like two of the things that we had in China. We just China. Yeah, China was weird. We uh, we tried the sesame bowls. We had to. They were just chewy. Yeah. yeah. We they were so excited like a, for them. Like, like, like some sort of. Yeah. I said if they didn't have that uh, sauce on top, they'd just be a dry, hard to eat. Yeah. 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 China wasn't our favorite. Uh, uh, I do want that old fashioned. Though. This is this is my favorite yeah. drink thus far. Okay. Okay. That was that was yeah. really good. Was yeah, good. it's. I mean, they're they're all kind of sweet, but I mean, this is. Yeah, I feel like with an old fashioned, I'm I'm okay with sweet. Yeah, yeah. you know. We did nice. not we did not care for the uh, strawberry um, oh, mint julep. Mm -hmm. No, sir. the top part was fine, but I think it's all the herbal was on top. But it was like so it got very jelloey as you come it. And we didn't know they and they didn't really tell us like, are you supposed to inject all of that stuff in there, or is it just you're just like no. with the sweets thing? Well, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't even know. That. You didn't even know it was frozen. But then it would have been just the mint julep. Yeah, so, oh, that's point. It would have been better, yeah. yeah. The things they add should be subtle and not more overwhelming than the drink itself, in my opinion. Like, yeah. Uh, like yeah. that's... Enhancements. Enhancements. Yeah, yeah. Not yeah. It should be a strawberry drink with, oh, that might be a mint julep underneath. I'd rather mint julep with just a hint of strawberry. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sure. Yeah. I think we're going to... Oh, enjoy Christmas yeah. corn, though. Yeah. 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 I like everything. Yeah. That sandwich is something else. I'm excited for you. Everything you said about like, that spot would be like... It's the, it's the fondue, dude. It's Watch us in the video. We'll be like, it's the worst thing ever. Don't trust me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then go watch the video and see what they actually think. Yeah. Okay, All right. oh, cool. awesome. See you guys later. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Have a good Bye. Night. Enjoy. That's fun. We'll see their video coming out if you don't follow the Diz. Other thing, too, we have not had it, but the, the pork belly portion. Pork belly was, belly was huge. Good. Yeah. Nice portion. I mean, a nice Again, portion because it's new, food. if you go to new festival items, ten, the portions tend to be bigger than returning items because they know Ooh. people love it. So they kind of lower like the portion size every year if it's a returning favorite, little by little. That Disney. And the new items tend to have a larger the portion here. It's great, especially for the price. That's why I like this booth a lot. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying. But uh, if you're a vegetarian, you would hate this booth. It would not be. <laughs> no, it's not your booth. Um, all right, we'll keep walking. I'll keep catching the chat as we walk. Thanks for watching, everyone, and hanging out with us. We got 152 people hanging out, and we just passed 100 likes. Thank you so much. If everyone hit the like button now, we'd be at 150. Wow. Let's do it. All right. Let's walk, look at art, see what we could find. How's the art of Jasmine Beckett Griffith? Unique. Yeah. Very unique. Definitely its own niche. Yes. Gideon's-esque. Very Gideon's-esque. We actually saw the artist that does all the Gideon's art here signing stuff the other day on Friday. Isn't her name Edith 
somebody? It was or the uh, last I checked. It was a male, but that's also what someone told me. So like, and it could be multiple artists. So I'm not. Okay. But when we passed by, I was like, man, this person's name sounds so familiar. And someone said, that's the Gideon's art guy. And I was like, oh, okay, that could be it. Nice. And I just tend to believe people. I'm like, yeah, that sounds right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no fact checking here. I, I try to do those disclaimers. Like when I do my fun facts, I just I check those. But when people tell me stuff when I'm live on a stream, I'm like, according to this person. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The line for the Kava was pretty long earlier. I wonder where it's at right now. I'm telling you, these lines for the booths though are so much better than yeah. over the weekend. Like, the fact that you were able to get that drink and come back, I thought you were going to be gone for 15, 20 minutes. Oh, no, and it was yeah. like, boom, boom. Super quick. This is very nice. What that was very nice. Yeah, no, I... On the sweeter side, but it's not bad. Uh, yeah, it's it's very approachable, especially for me. I, uh, I'm i just getting into the old-fashioned scene. Okay. And I don't drink coffee, but I love espresso, if that makes any uh, sense. Yeah. I like a big, bold taste. So, like, I think that's really nice. It's I can taste a little bit of the alcohol. Yeah. Yeah, I thought it was delicious. Great drink. Also fun one by the characters, they have their little easels out, so you can see Donald's artwork over there. Another nice idea for the sunny days, which will happen, I promise. Uh, they have tables here in Mexico where you can kind of hang out. This is where our boys perform, so those tables are clutch. Mariachi Cobre. You could step in and become Frida Kahlo right there, here in the little cutout as you walk from Mexico into Norway. Look at that. So beautiful, never gets old. Epcot sunsets are the best. I think that was like, if you were to look at backgrounds on my computer or phone, over the last 10 years, I think Epcot sunsets have been the majority of my backdrops. <laughs> so if you were having a drink around the world, what would you get in Norway? Norway's hard. Norway's tough if you're doing a drink around the world. So yeah, a lot of people do beer. That's the easy one. Um, Viking coffee is very popular. Or if you just want to get it done quick and move on, they do offer you a shot of this Norwegian uh, lighter fluid, oh, okay. and <laughs> I don't think that's the actual name, but it is, if you're drinking around the world, if you just kind of want to get Norway out of the way, I say when you're drinking around the world, start in Mexico, because you're going to get a margarita or probably a shot of tequila there, so you may as well just continue in Norway with the heavy stuff, yeah. and then you could slow down as you go around the world, and liquor before beer, you're in the clear. That's right. Probably. <laughs> Gandhi. If you do. You're going for the bow? I'd say the better bow is Japan, for those wondering. But here at the Painted Panda, they have a, a shumai, the sesame balls, and the bow, which we will get a live review on. We did the shumai last night. What were your thoughts on the shumai? Um, I didn't try any because General So is not a friend of mine. Not your guy. Um, but it was like, it's good and that's about where it is okay um, it's good yeah he can give you more though. all right we'll do an in-depth review yeah i don't do super spicy but typically at epcot i can do most of the items 95 percent of the time uh, there's some tables that are empty up ahead. So we have two awesome su suggestions for Dreamfinder. Will Ferrell or Jack Black. No, Jack Black. Jack, Jack Black is great. That's it, they win. We can't hear anything we're saying. <laughs> Heading for a special event with those tables in that bar. Jack, Black. Jack, Jack Black's a great suggestion. Was, but you're a genius. Let's go see who it was. Andrew C. in the house, Boston Drew. Uh, let's see, where was that in the chat? 
Here we go, live review of the bow. Nick Offerman, another great suggestion from Katie McGinnis. Uh, Frank, shout out to Frank. I haven't said hi to Frank yet either, but Frank suggested Jack Black. Mark Mueller suggested Will Ferrell. We're, we're asking earlier who would make a great dream finder in the movie. Great suggestions. We could cast it with this crew. Okay. What do you think? I don't think it's going to change your life, but it's not terrible. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's not going to change your life, but it's, it's, if you need something to eat and you want something that's different, but, you know, it's yeah. not pork belly. I don't think it is anyway. Um, but it said it was. Did it? It's char suey pork. Oh, okay. Char suey. Not, yeah. um, and last year, I don't the pictures <laughs> that I saw had like a beard of green onions coming out of it. Yes, and that was a lot a of nice that. It is. That's probably my favorite item from China for this festival. Sure. What were your thoughts on the shimai last night? Yes, we were talking about that too. I was waiting until your mouth wasn't full. You liked it? I did. I just think for the price point, I would want a, a little bit more. Um, they were kind of um, a little too firm. Like they weren't very soft. Yeah. Um, they should. Yeah, they and, should and, kind of melt in your mouth a little bit. Yeah. Then kick to them. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Not bad. Oh, that's a great suggestion, Brandy. Yes, the Tomorrowland Traveler would make a great dream finder. Yes. Absolutely. Hi, Susan. Bill D in the house. Joey M rep in Long Island here, just mousing around. What's going on? Also, Dawn, I'm not sure if you were here, but again, we wish you a happy birthday earlier. We know it was your birthday yesterday. Mr. Dave, how are you? Great to see you. Arm Bandito in the house. What's up, Nelson? Pixie Dust, how are you? Thanks for being here. What a beautiful, beautiful view. Have you ever stayed at the Swan? Or the I've never stayed at either one, but obviously I've spent a lot of time there. Yeah. Um, never been. Yeah, they're nice. Honestly, it's worth a night. I started doing this like before I even moved here, but... When you're leaving Epcot, you know, you run out of options. Like, so we used to just walk over there to like try to find a bar and it's been fun exploring them before I even moved here. And then once I was here, they're beautiful at night. Honestly, I think they're gorgeous at night. Uh, and they're really, it's nice when they're between conferences cause they're kind of empty. Yeah. They do have a lot of uh, conferences and conventions come through which pack it out, but you'll be able to see those crowds from far, far away. Marriott, right? Yeah, Marriott owned property if you have those Marriott points. Also, they tend, if you ever look on uh, Hotels.com or Priceline, they offer deals there as well, cheaper than on their own website. So if you are looking for a last-minute Disney resort and it tends to be a little too expensive in some places, check out Priceline or Hotels.com. The Disney resorts typically won't be on there. Uh, rarely they are. I mean, like, a few nights a year. But the Swan and Dolphin pops up pretty often. And it's not a bad option where you could walk to Epcot or take a boat. Pop Gallery, you checked this out the other day. Oh yeah, the barges get pulled in and out every day, which I love. Also, they made these barges a lot shorter than the previous barges. I'm excited for you guys to see Luminous. It's a, li it's a little bit of illuminations, a little bit of harmonious. Like yeah. I've, not, I've watched a, one tiny snippet and that's it. So I'll tell you, in my opinion, the best place to watch the Italy Bridge out of all the places I've watched so far, that's where I had the most breathtaking views. Because also you have Spaceship Earth in the background and you're close to the barges. Uh, you get a lot more, you can see more of the water effects and laser effects. It's my favorite spot so far. We did a stream with it from that location. We got a really good spot, luckily, and uh, yeah, it came out beautiful. It's on their, I, that's a good question. It might, I thought it's just on its own loop. Um, by the way, this is the Greg McCullough art, some of my favorite art here at the festival. I own a few of his pieces and uh, his pieces also have hidden Mickeys in them. So if you buy one, they got the Hidden Mickey's, and he does an amazing job. 
I have the World Showcase one and the Animal Kingdom one. But beautiful art in here. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna show everyone because it's just so nice. Yes. This is fun. I got a lot of hidden Mickeys in here as well. I love the in front of the Haunted Mansion, the Jungle Cruise. The, yeah. Oh, Look at the 20,000 legs, Goofy. Yeah, that's a good one, too. Man, oh, man. I like this wall, the partner statue. It looks so real, like that plaque is on there, but it's painted. Yeah. Yeah. This is the one I have. Not this big, for sure, but... That's pretty, though. Yeah. That's real pretty. I like Mickey on the top of Everest, too. And Greg does come here and sign his art on the weekends. Most weekends. And it does come with a key for the Hidden Mickeys in case you don't find them all. Hi. So sorry. Hey, sorry. They did add a blue umbrella back here in the World Showcase. If you're ever looking for help, go find a blue umbrella. The guest experience team, they can help you out. One of my favorite uh, bands here in the World Showcase that entertain is the one here in Germany, they're awesome. They sing some originals. Oh, you can stop anywhere you want. Oh, no, it's oh. just a silly clutch. Just a silly clutch. Just a silly clutch. No such yeah, thing as a silly clutch. But they have both labels on them. Uh -huh. okay. Have to paint here in uh, Germany Pavilion as well. But yeah, the band that plays right there between the food studio and the have to paint tent. It's great. They do their originals and uh, classic Disney songs in German. You can see the fountains have turned on on the new luminous barges. Those little purple lights that look like, those are water, little tiny fountains. Spaceship Earth looking beautiful as well. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that's a painting right there. Do you want to show it? The line's a little long. We can try on the way back. Are you sure? I don't mind waiting. That's not bad at all, honestly. That's it was way the longer. Shortest earlier. I've seen. Right. Yeah, this is a beautiful spot. I'll get a table. I don't mind waiting at all. Look how beautiful it is down here. Bump, bump, and I can catch up with some more chat. Uh oh. Hey, friends. How's the German food today? Those ducks have more pretzels. All right. How beautiful. How beautiful is that? Oh, I just remembered. If Suzanne's and Glenn, Glenn and Suzanne, if you're watching, I forgot to give you your card. It's right here. Another round of cards went out in the mail today. You take good care you know, of this, Pete. You know, <laughs> you, if you follow the channel at all, you know sometimes we start our streams a little bit late. Well, you get Christmas and holiday cards in, middle of, in the middle of January. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to everybody who's watching. We had 160 people in the house. What's going on? We're just gonna wait. We're getting a short rib, in my opinion, one of the best things here at the festival. Definitely in my top three that I've had so far. You need a refill while we're here in Germany? Uh, sure, but here, I'll give you my card. No, man, don't worry about it. What would you like? Uh, I'll have what you're having. Okay. Thank you. Well, I like lighter beers, so you're good? Yeah, that's fine. All right, let's catch up with some more chat while we have this beautiful view. We're getting some beers and some short rib here in Germany. Let's find where I was. If everybody hits the like button right now, we beat 160 likes. Let's do it. And if you're brand new, consider subscribing. Glenn, I hope you're feeling better. I wonder if you're still here, but I forgot to give Suzanne your card. It's right here. I did this last week too with both Kennys, Quick Kenny and Sexy Kenny. I have, I had their cards. Saw them, hung out with them, never gave it to them. Adam N. asked, what is the best food studio this year? I really like the Craftsman Courtyard. Germany was great. Um, 
Japan's always solid, but a little overpriced for the portion. Oh my God. Was that attacked by some ducks? Hi, Big Bear, checking in from New York. I'm a New Yorker. Just mousing around says there's a heat wave, 23 degrees back home. Jeez, yeah, I'm from Long Island, so so is Joey. John Allard, happy 2024. I'm having a great day. I hope you are too. New York Tiki Bar, what's happening? So my dog had surgery yesterday, so now I'm taking care of my dog. Oh, I hope your dog heals very quickly. 17 degrees where Big Bear is over in New York. Although Big Bear is a different place, but Big Bear is also a name. Okay, you guys know what I'm saying. Hi, Jason Thibodeau, great to see you. Suzanne said, I thought the sesame balls were your favorite. Nah, we shared them, and we all kind of made the same facial expression. Like, eh. Adam says, Sunny Eclipse, you play the Dreamfinder. That would be awesome in like an animated version. Chris W., good evening. Great to see you. Susan says, I'm a little behind, but I love Craig and Rhino from the Diz. Yeah, they're both super nice. We get to, they are, so there's certain people, like on our Friday stream, we got, you know, we are Hanging out, talking with like the Tim Tracker, Adam the Woo, uh, JoJo, WWNT, Resort TV One. They were all here on the stream and hanging out for, with us for a little bit. But, uh, and you know, some channels are great and really kind and nice. And um, But I will say, as, as since I'm staying positive and we're talking, the Diz guys, Rhino and Craig, are both really nice guys. Have always been nice to me. Have always had great conversations. Weather and low, what's going on? Andy, what's up? Sorry I haven't called you today. It's been such a crazy day. I promise I will call you. I'm the worst friend. So sorry. And with that, I think I caught up with the chat. Hi, everyone. I'm Pete Carney from Adventures by Carney. Thanks for being here with me. I'm rocking the ABC Gray sweatshirt today. Not bad. If you're looking for a sweatshirt, I know it's cold around the country. I think we got a few left in black and in gray. Hop on the Discord or go on to our website, adventuresbycarney.fun, not .com, .fun. Also, just check out our Discord if you haven't checked it out, everyone. Over 300 people, it's the nicest community. It is free to sign up, there's no spam. Uh, it's you know heavily moderated. Everyone is just super kind, super nice, super generous. Um, with their time, they help a lot of different people when people are vacation planning or have questions like, hey, do you know if I should do this or this, or is this a good place or that? We have seven travel agents in there. If not, they might be more than that, actually. Uh, so yeah, go check out the Discord. The link's down below in the description. Uh, you can also probably get there from our webpage, like I said, adventuresbycarney.fun. And if you want to follow me on the socials, see my crazy life in between the streams, my Instagram is at officialcarney. My TikTok is adventuresbycarney. My Twitter or X is at your WDW guy. And uh, yeah, for the Discord, there's a link down below, but you can just search Adventures by Carney. And also our Patreon, you can just search Adventures by Carney. Big shout out to all the Patreons. They're awesome. We had a great Zoom call uh, a few days ago on Monday night. I We did it live from Disney's Wilderness Lodge at Walt Disney's train room. We hung out. Our, our Zoom calls are a lot of fun. We talked for two hours, a little over two hours, uh, about whatever everyone wants to talk about. But also we announced we're having a meetup in April. All the details are on the website, adventuresbycarney.fun and in the Discord. If you want to come hang out with us for our meetup, it's free. You just come and hang out and do all the fun activities with us if you want to come do them, and that's it. If any event's a paid thing, you just pay for yourself. There's no admission from us or anything like that. It's also the same weekend as the Springtime Surprise Run Weekend. You are the man. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Short rib coming in hot. I did not have enough hands for plasticware. Oh, so you get some I would good help. shots of those. Look That'd how be beautiful these are. I'll go get it for you, babe. You sure? Yeah, don't worry. Thanks. So as you can see, I mean, it's a beautiful plate. The plates here at Festival of the Arts are always plated absolutely beautifully. I love how beautiful this looks too. Mm -hmm. But you can tell from last year, this is a returning item, that the portions got a little bit smaller. But man, is it delicious. I hope I'm, I'm going to live up to the hype. I've been talking about it all day now. But it's a good one. No, you're good. You can go anywhere. It's sunset or I'll put it back on me. Hi. I know the sunset's pretty here. But I just figured I'd They're say hello to you. They're both beautiful options. <laughs> all right. I got a beer on deck. This is great. Uh, yes, our meetup is April 17th through the 22nd. Thanks, Brandy. I didn't want to, I didn't have the exact date, so I don't want to say it. Look how beautiful this is. Come on. Oh, when Spaceship Earth has started. I love 
love what they're doing with that now. Me too, it's so beautiful, especially like driving around property at night. Mm -hmm. I just see it from all the angles. So like you can see it from Disney Springs, you can see it when you're coming over on uh, World Drive, and you're just like, oh, it's so nice. Like during the holidays, we'd be doing like it's candy cane thing, and I'm like, oh, <laughs> just driving down the road. Look how cool that is. Yeah, they did okay. Yep. Bill D says the gray sweatshirt Pete's wearing was inspired by the birthday girl Dawn. There you go. She said, yes, yes, I did request okay, the gray. Guys. A beautiful piece right? of beef. Yeah. I eat like a six-year-old, so the broccolini is for those who eat like grown-ups. <laughs> Do either of you, I don't have one on mine, you, you ever have a festival passport? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm just check it, I'm just see something. I mm. Yeah. Good. But I love pot roast, so. Yeah. Well. I like that We a went to uh, Prime Time Cafe yesterday. For the first time. Oh, nice. It's a delightful pot roast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like pot roast there. And just a fun experience. They, uh, they were a good time. I really like that. Look at that. Here were, the results are in. She really likes it. It's Kate approved. <laughs> Not saying something. And that is darn good broccolini. Good. Yeah. It's a, it's a solid dish. I was hoping they were to have the dates and the times of who's... Oh, they do. Okay, cool. So tonight, the Disney on Broadway concert series. We're going to check that out. There is a 645, so I'm going to try to shoot for that one. If not, we'll do the 8. And tonight, what's the date? Today's date is the 17th, right? Yes. So tonight, we have Heidi Blackenstaff, Blickenstaff from Freaky Friday and Gavin Lee from Mary Poppins, as we mentioned earlier, at the Rosen Crown. I don't think I got Heidi's name right, though. Hey, Blicken stuff. Blicken stuff? Blicken to flicken. Definitely a German, like Heidi, so German, Blicken stuff. Swedish chef name. Yeah. Pretty Blicken stuff. Muppet Theater looks beautiful. It does look good. I'll tell you, they, they yeah. did some good work in there. I'm, which I'm really happy about because wow. I'm so afraid that everyone's always afraid they're going to take that out. Thank mm -hmm. you. Yeah. So when they spent some money to yeah. give it some love, I was like, yes, the Muppets are sticking around. Super basic question, but if you could only spend the rest of your life in one Epcot pavilion, not like every Pavilion? Day. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Like, you you're going to say park. Get, no, no. You only, get, you only get one. One for the rest of my life. You only get one. You get to visit one pavilion for the rest of your life. All right. I know mine. Mine's pretty easy. Which one? Mine's Mexico. Okay. Only because, one, it's, it has a very large footprint, so like I, yeah. I wouldn't be as bored. Yeah. It's got Mariachi Cobra, so I can go outside and watch them. Yeah. Uh, if it's too hot or raining, you have the hole inside. Yeah. There's a ride inside, yeah. so I can take the boat around. Yeah. It's got a restaurant inside. It's got La Cava inside. Yeah. Uh, I just like the indoor scene. But then outside, I can go to Choza one day if, I'm, if I want to mix up my food. A second restaurant outside, so you have uh, the San Angel Inn and then Hacienda de San Angel. So you have two different restaurants. And the quick service. And the quick service area. I forget, I forget. And I believe you're allowed, if I'm allowed in one area... I believe I'm allowed to wander all the way towards the booth, the festival booths, which kind of pushes towards the middle. There you go. So I can get my steps in. Yeah, I would. I don't know. That would be my argument for Mexico, but as soon as you say yours, I'm probably going to regret it. What would be yours? I mean, France is my favorite. We were having this France is a very large footprint, too. France is my favorite. It yeah. is. And the prettiest? I mean, in my opinion, it's the prettiest. I love France. It has much. a lot going on. So you have a bakery yeah, in the yeah, mornings. You got the bake. You, you have a creperie in the back. You got a rock. You have, uh, technically, you have. Not only the ride, Remy, but you also have uh, the show, mm -hmm. yeah, which is now two shows. Yeah. I wouldn't go for Beauty and the Beast, but I would go for <laughs> uh, Impressions de France. Impressions, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you have and Monsieur Paul up yeah. top, so you got the fancy restaurant if you need a date night. Yep. If you're if you're feeling fancy, and then Chefs de France, which is also which is also fancy a great if you want it yeah, great restaurant, and then a quick service inside when it's not the bakery, it's also the quick service and go inside. Good you have two sets of bathrooms. You have Bell meeting outside. You have Aurora meeting outside. Fried. Ice cream. Ice cream, ice cream, a shop. great, most of the time, pretty good food at the booth for the festivals. There was a lady last night spent $70 oh on God. a 12-ounce cup of champagne. And 
I mean, kudos to her. Yeah, that's like, a shout out to Robert D. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Like, if you can do it, that's great. But I, that's all. $69 she paid. Yep, uh, yep. Just a modest price here that, at that's, Disney. That's yeah. <laughs> do you mind if I leave? Leave? Do you mind if I leave? No. Do you, mind, do you mind if I leave this here while I just run to the restroom since we're here? Yeah, and yeah. Stop? do it. Thank you so much. Just be careful what you say. You're live. <laughs> I'm sorry. I totally ate that chocolate feather. Did you want it? Uh, no, I'm good. Okay. For those of you overhearing, I'm about to tuck into the Black Forest cake from the artist palette. Is that what it is? I don't know what. Uh, or pastoral palette. Pastoral palette, yes. How did you say it? Pastoral? Mm. Not pastoral like as in a pastor. Well, but it is. Not, a, not like a. It's not a reverend. No, I mean, but pastoral, like, like, like a, like a pasture, right? Yeah, so pastoral. Oh, no, I don't know now. I thought, I thought it would be pastoral, not a pastoral. I don't know. This is riveting. Know. Chocolate Lo and cherries. Let's see what's up. Losing viewers by the moment. <laughs> Hurry back, Pete. Look at Spaceship Earth. Isn't she it's beautiful? It's so pretty. Oh my. 7,200 points of light. Come here for all of your fake Disney facts. Uh, <laughs> let's see. How can you tell we don't do this for a living? We're just here watching a camera. <laughs> um, but the Black Forest Gateau is so good. Do you want a bite? Uh, yes, please. I'm a fan. Oh, that's very nice. Yeah, delightful. Wow. Wow. Oh, yeah. Especially if cherries are your favorite, that's like me. That's good. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. do recommend. Oh, my. Yeah. yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Especially with the cherries, a little tartness there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Honestly, it's kind of like if... Um... Wait, have you... You've never had a Malamar, have you? No. So it's like if Malamars were, were made with cherries. I don't even know what a Malamar me. is. I assume it's a marshmallow bar of some kind. Yeah, it's like chocolate cookie with marshmallow on top and then covered in chocolate. Yeah. Billy Crystal eats them in uh, When Harry Met Sally. Oh, how about that? Mm-hmm. Another fun Disney fact, this lagoon is full of all of Bob Chapek's regrets. Regrets, tears, missed out 401k, which I don't know, he might have gotten. Who knows? Well, if it's anything like college football. We're Especially at Auburn. <laughs> Especially at Auburn. Roll what are we talking about, Auburn? We were trying to be entertaining. I don't think it worked. Oh, work it definitely out. was. Didn't I didn't can't wait to go out. back and watch this now. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you follow more like professional football, right? Yeah. You're not not as much of a college football guy. I, I like college football. The thing is, I didn't grow up with it because we didn't really have a team on Long Island or near us. Like, I've never been to a right. college football game, and oh, I hear they're yeah. incredible because, like, the best team near us was Hofstra, but, like, Hofstra was never good. So, yeah, I don't even know, like, the next biggest school. It would probably be Rutgers in Jersey. Uh, but, yeah, never really had a good college football team. Like, no one, like, roots for college football, like, on Long Island unless yeah. it's, like, yeah. the popular teams. Like, yeah, yeah. go Michigan, go, you know, yeah. Alabama, stuff like that. Well, come to the SEC sometime. No, I know. I really want to. I, I really, really, really want to. College football game and tailgate sounds oh, amazing. Oh, dude. Tuscaloosa stream. Oh, man. That would yeah. be fun. That would be fun. And Glenn's right there, too. We're talking about Glenn and Suzanne. Again, if you guys are watching, I'm where, so sorry. Where are Glenn and Suzanne from? So, they, they're... they Is that the Auburn he, people? Yeah. So, he works at Auburn, <gasps> no but he... Uh, yeah. Oh. Down the road from us. Sorry. Yeah. yeah we, they, we've, we've chatted on the, on the Discord before. Yeah, you guys are pretty close. We are very close. Yeah. Uh, 40 minutes down the road. Yeah, that's if, awesome. If so that, that was Suzanne, who you talked to. Well, we met earlier. No way. Hot dog. Yeah. Hot dog. Yeah, that was them. Oh, man. That would have been fun to connect those dots. Right? We, we've absolutely talked on the Discord before. Is it the Discord or just Discord? I feel like I'm saying on the Discord? Twitter. I mentioned you on the Facebook and you haven't responded. <laughs> I'm like, I'm sorry, Aunt Patty. Jeez. 
I got, I got 800 messages on the Facebook. And I will never I've seen your stuff on the Instagrams. Yeah. <laughs> Jeff M. Good evening. Says, uh, from Chile, Alabama. Uh, any it chance y'all will be at Epcot on 218, as in tomorrow? Isn't that tomorrow? That's next month. 218. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I don't know. That's oof, an eternity away. I mean, I probably know if I looked at my calendar, but I'm, I'm not sure right now. But if you message me in the Discord, uh, we have a section called Pete's Schedule or Carney Crew Meetups. You can put your itinerary in there and I can try and meet up. That's honestly, anyone who does that or message me privately, I try to put it in my calendar. And if I see multiple people are at a park at the same day, like yesterday and today, I knew the Richies, Avery and Kate, and a few other people were going to be here hanging out. So that's why we chose Epcot. It's a Sunday, I believe. It's a Sunday? For everybody that's interested, Ash Wednesday is on Valentine's Day. Wow. Early Lent this year. Early, Early Lent. So get in all your carnival now. That's yeah. Right. And if, yeah, if there's anything <coughs> you want to do with your partner, probably do it the night before. You hey, can't do it. If you, I don't know what you're giving up for Lent. <laughs> Jeepers. <laughs> <laughs> Trevor, what's going on? Says, what are you drinking tonight, Pete? Uh, I'm just having a couple of beers. Uh, one, thanks to Avery and Kate. Uh, we had, I had a harp. And now what are we drinking? Uh, this is the Koenig, the Weiss beer. Uh, Cheers. I, was, I love the Weiss beer. Prost. Oh, yeah. Prost. <laughs> Prost. I'll never Prost. forget when I went to, I knew I was going to Oktoberfest in that September uh, in 2017. And I came here for my birthday on August 29th. Uh -huh. So when I was here in Germany, I was asking all the international cast members for advice. I was like, I'm going to Oktoberfest. Do you have any advice? And it was awesome because they really did help me with all the things. They're like, all right, you need to learn a few be uh, like beer terms, like beer bitte. It's kind of a beer, please. I'm like, excellent. I'm writing this out on my phone. They're like, every time you want to say cheers, prost, do you know, avoid this, do that. I got yeah, so yeah. many great pointers. So I was well equipped for uh, two and a half weeks later when we left for Germany. I was like walking around like a pro. <laughs> Until I lost my phone. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, sad day. Yeah. Where'd and you then, go? What? Where'd you go? In Germany. Uh, Munich. And that's okay. where I did for Oktoberfest. And then we hopped on a flight over to Amsterdam for a few days and then over to Spain for a few hours and then back home. Yeah. Nice. Roll Tide. Very cool. Roll Tide. Roll Tide. Uh, how was the dessert? I, so Black Forest is kind of my thing. I okay. Very big fan. Um, nice. Yeah, I mean, I guess uh, to harken back to earlier language, not going to change your life, mm -hmm. but a solid choice. Really good, especially if you're into chocolate cherry chantilly cream situation it's good chocolate mousse did you like this one better than the uh the, the, ne the neapolitan dessert at uh oh at um at deco delights at that. and then yeah the italian torta the chocolate uh, is that a ricotta cake is it that, what it is was? A ricotta yeah. cake. that one actually wins for me if you're, Ooh. if you're into chocolate desserts yes Yay, italy. wow uh, italy oh. well done. what a what a oh. surprise pick truly not getting it with truly. the pasta Garden. Yeah, uh. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's an Olive Garden booth for sure. <laughs> but the food inside the pavilion is better. Again, I always have this disclaimer. People are like, I like the food when I was in Italy. We're talking about the festival booth, savory food. Yes. Usually does not deliver. Whereas, a, a, and meanwhile, the food inside the pavilion and the restaurants are much better. What's, uh, the, what's the restaurant? Via Napoli is back, one of my back. favorite restaurants here. Yeah, that's like the pizza place. There's also Tutto Gusto, for and then the Victoria, wine cellar. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. we all were sitting there having a good time. Yeah. Yeah, very good time. <laughs> <laughs> very good time. Yeah, if you missed that, I think some of that's live and some of it we turned off the camera for, but uh, <laughs> you're going to go back and check it out. Hi to Tyler Silva. Uh, Dawn throwing her option. If she had to live anywhere, would be Mexico. France is a great second option, honestly, now that I think about it, because you have the shows, a ride, a beautiful pavilion, including breakfast. A great question if you want to throw your answers in the chat. Chief Leaf says, I'd uh, choose France and live underneath impressions to France Theater. Ooh. Yeah, that's Phantom that's of course France. Yeah. <laughs> Phantom of France. Uh, Chris W says, "Is there a planned itinerary for the meetup?" Just wondering uh, how many park tickets to purchase. Uh, we have a lot of ideas. We're putting them into days. You could find an active document. Brandy put it in the Discord. So if anyone wants to find that, <laughs> yeah. Uh, when you mentioned the champagne, uh, Brandy says, "Literally typing Robert D, paging Robert D, the king of champagne." Lynette said, "We were all overthinking Robert D." Uh, 
Maddie, cash me outside. What's going on? Says Big Ten. Go Ducks. Okay, we hear some college football talk. And Glenn, who we were just talking about. Says some of us work at Auburn but have degrees from Bama and Oklahoma. Very confusing. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> Boomer sooner. Boomer sooner. It's for the out there. Glenn, I'm so sorry. Again, uh, I might drop this off at your hotel tonight, uh, so I'll text you after the stream and leave it at the front desk if you guys are still here. I hope you're feeling better. Stephen Noon has made it back to the very chilly Chicago. He was just here for a, uh, about a week with his family, having a great time. Uh, he has an, he's an amazing travel agent as well, Stephen Noon. Also, you can go check out his Instagram. He has amazing pictures of all the food and drink that he does. Um, you're definitely going to want to check that out. Let's see what else we got going on here before we uh, make the move to go look at some more art and maybe see some Broadway over in the America Gardens Theater. Broadway. Steven says, wish we were still there, but had to get back to reality. We'll be back soon enough. Well, we can't wait to have you back. I'm glad you had a great trip. Uh, you nailed it, by the way. Chief Leaf was making a phantom reference. Uh, he is the big phantom person. That's got to excite you, Chief, that this is the Disney on Broadway concert series. Even though they sing a lot of Disney on Broadway, they do sometimes venture out to other Broadway songs, musicals, or performances. So you never know what you're going to get. You never know. We did get a phantom song during uh, Eat to the Beat concert series, and Chief damn Boy. near lost his dang mind. Yeah. <laughs> That's my Chief Leaf. That's my favorite Broadway show. Look at that. It's his too. Oh, here we go. It's my first actual, like, New York. I've, I've only seen Phantom and Wicked on Broadway. Oh, uh, Wicked's great too. Phantom. My dad took me when I was in middle school. Wow. Good memory. That's cool. Yeah. I have a fun Wicked I have more memories from because I've seen it, I don't know, like four times. But uh, my favorite memory was. I've seen a lot of Broadway shows. I love Broadway. I've done theater most of my life. And I lived on Long Island, so it was a much easier commute from Long Island than from the South. Yeah, right. yeah. But uh, one of my favorite Wicked memory would be my buddy bought Wicked. He was like, Pete, what's a good Broadway musical? I want to take my girlfriend. And I knew his girlfriend from high school, and we were in college at this point. And was like, oh, this is good, this is good, this is good. And he's like, all right, he went online. So the Wicked tickets were probably like a good price for good seats in the orchestra, like just a few rows from the stage. I was like, oh, wow, that's a great price. Yeah, do that. Yeah. So he, he buys the tickets. Uh, Gives it for her birthday. It's like three months before the show, like a week or maybe even a few days before the show, they break up. They oh. have this big fight and break up. Oh no! So he's like Pete, you know. Nice. It was it was a fresh breakup, so it's not even like he was like I could take somebody else. He's like, yeah. I know you really want the show. Do you want the tickets? And I'm like, yeah, but I'm not gonna take the tickets from you. Like, he's like, I don't know what to do. Like, he's also he's like, I was also kind of getting excited to see it. By the way, this is I'm talking about James Hike. He's been in the chat here, uh, but one of my closest friends, the sixth grade. Uh, so he uh, he was like, I come to see the show. I was like, James, why don't we just go see the show together? He's like, me and you going to a Broadway show together? You don't think that's weird? I'm like, there's nothing weird about that. Let's go see it. <laughs> so me and him went on a, a hot date to uh, <laughs> New York City. We did some free gaming, had a great time in the city, went to go see the show. And in like such a typical, like, I don't know, picturing like my parents' date fashion, I would definitely be my mom and James would be my dad because <laughs> like we're halfway into the first act. And I don't know if it was the pre-gaming or just he was tired, but all of a sudden he's like nodding off and starting to snore. And I'm like, we're like five rows from the stage. So I'm like elbowing him <laughs> like, honey, wake up. Like, <laughs> so I had to keep like giving him the elbow. And I'm like, you're at a Broadway show. You paid for this. Watch the show. <laughs> Open your eyes. Yeah. Clench teeth and everything. Wicked's always been funny stories. Like, the, the next time I saw it, uh, a few friends invited us. It was me and uh, two girlfriends of mine from Long Island. And they were like, we bought tickets. Like, you should come. And I was like, sounds great. I love Wicked. Um, and again, we're pre-gaming and having a good time. We're like, oh, my God. Like, the show starts in 30 minutes. We have yeah, to get yeah. uptown. So I'm like, you know what? Instead of walking it, let's just hop in an Uber or a cab. And yeah. they're like, great idea. We hop in a cab. And our cab, we're like, we got to get there as fast as possible. We're like, no problem. And the guy's, like, driving kind of crazy. We're like, whatever, we're New Yorkers. But it was kind of crazy even for us, where we're like, we drive crazy? Like, I, I learned how to drive in New York. Like, I, I drove in the middle of Manhattan when I was a teenager. Yeah, like, yeah. Uh, our cab gets into an accident, like, six blocks from the theater. <gasps> no, and we're like, no, like, no. and literally just, like, right into somebody. Just, like, it was his fault a thousand percent. Oh we're like, gosh. oh, my God. So then, like, the person's saying, like, can we do witness reports? And we're literally trying to tell everyone, we would stay and help you. But we have to get to a Broadway show. So, like, we're just like, we're sorry. Like, we wrote, like, on a napkin, like, we were in the back seat. <laughs> like, it wasn't their fault. This is my phone number. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm like girls, we got to run to the theater. And we just started jogging to the theater. Yeah. <laughs> Luckily, nobody was hurt. So that's why it was okay to leave. It was just car damage. Uh, but, yeah, always good times going to Wicked. You need to get back to New York. You were just there recently, huh? I Yeah, I go back every year for Thanksgiving and Christmas. Okay. 
Nice. Uh, and I'll be back again in February. Lauren's brother is getting married. Oh, Mazel tov. Uh, yeah. And then I'll be back in April because it's my nephew's first birthday. So that's oh, very wow. exciting. Yeah. It's fun. It's going to be a golf theme. Oh. It's going to be Liam's uh, hole in one. <laughs> uh, yes. yes. It's going to be a lot of fun. That's yeah. nice. Yeah, and they and they keep dropping puns on like our family chat and like all these different ideas. He's like, guys, we're just teeing things up, uh, <laughs> you know, just all the golf references. It just reminded me while you're talking about a one-year-old. We were talking about it yesterday. Um, I wanted to tell you, our daughter, whenever we put the stream, she's like Uncle Pete. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> yeah, you're Uncle Pete. <laughs> Uncle Pete. And oh, that's so sweet. And the only way we. So this guy usually watches streams and has a cup of coffee, like yeah, to start his work yeah, day. My, your streams. I yeah, you're the rare, morning guy. I know. I yeah. rarely watch live because I'm usually at work. Yeah. But but I, I usually try to start my day with streams. I will say every person who's like Pete, you know, the more morning streams, the better. Uh, <laughs> earlier, <laughs> the better. Yeah. Dude, I love morning stream. Magic Kingdom wrote drop yesterday. Yeah. Please. Animal Kingdom wrote. Way we get her to not watch Encanto or Frozen or Moana Streams. is to say we, we're watching Uncle Pete right now. Oh, that's so awesome! Yeah, so much Moana. 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 <laughs> when I when I uh, lived in the apartment at my cousin's house, I would go over and watch the kids when they would go out and stuff, or just go over and hang out with them at night. And just I rem I think I watched more Moana in twelve months. Like I probably oh, watched gosh. it a hundred times in twelve months. So like it's probably the Disney movie besides my own childhood movies that I know the best. Yeah. And it's a good one. Oh, I mean, thank God it's a good so, one. Like, if another movie would have come out or been, like, I caught the tail end of Frozen, but I was, like, way more into yeah, Moana. Yeah. yeah. But, yeah. So, Solid choice. Are we excited or worried about the Moana live-action remake? <laughs> okay. That's the reaction. <laughs> I guess From that Kate says it all. Anyway. I, th I think it's just unnecessary. I think it's all one too soon. Uh, the movie too, just yeah, came really out. Really too soon. Uh, you didn't even give it time to really breathe. I know it's popular and they built a ride and an attraction, but I mean, I know they're remaking Disney classics. I don't know if Moana can be considered a classic yet. It's a great yeah. movie and probably one of the better ones that come out in the last 15 years, but. Uh, I, personally, and I don't know, this may be an unpopular opinion, but all of the live action remakes, I appreciate the, the villain movies. Yeah, but the regular just remakes the live action. Yeah, just the, the regular films. The like, words for words, same exact thing, no different storyline. It's just unnecessary. Cinderella was beautiful. Cinderella, but which one? Cinderella's been remade forty times. Cinderella is very nice. Yeah, but I mean that, that's a good point. You have the Rodgers and Hammerstein with Brandy. The Brandy and Bernadette Peters is hard to beat, man. Yeah, that was a great one. That's a hard to beat, but that's Rodgers and Hammerstein. Which one is all for one on their soundtrack? Uh, there's one of them. Maybe it might be the Brandy one, but yeah, it just it's yeah. one of the better ones. I, but Cinderella's been remade, like I said, how many times? That's yeah. true. That's true. But I felt like that one deviated enough from the Eileen Woods version to be like its own thing, and it can stand alone without referencing the Disney animated version. You can't say that about Little Mermaid. You can't say that about Beauty and the Beast. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Aladdin was fun. Aladdin was fun. But but you're taking these very like established classics and people have very very strong opinions about them. Oh sure. And they're not just I mean they're they're classics because they were successes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I, mean, I just don't know that they're necessary. Yeah, I thought um like another one that we didn't name yet is like The Lion King, right? I thought that was probably really well done if the original movie didn't exist. Exactly. Yeah. Like if yeah. that was an original CGI version or just not even version but like movie and they were like this is called The Lion King the animated one didn't exist I'd be like yeah. this is incredible right. um, but I just love the original Lion King so much where I was like John Favreau like great job and what you yeah. did with technology yeah. and how they you know and a fun fact about that is that um, a lot of those CGI artists and inspiration came from uh, animals at Disney's Animal Kingdom. They would just go and sit and watch the animals. When they drew the lions, they would sit by the lions. When they drew other animals, they would sit on the savanna um, here at Disney's Animal Kingdom at Kilimanjaro Safari. So that's super cool. But again, like, nothing will beat the original, like, in my opinion, when you're doing the classics. Yeah. No, I, I'm i with you. I love John Favreau. Like, Me too. Big fan. Just, I love his work. 
from podcasts I've listened to with him. I feel like he's wonderful. Love him. Love Love his cooking shows when he does his cooking. Oh, my God. The Chef Chef Show. show. Chef Show's so good. I've seen every episode. And the movie Chef. If you haven't seen the movie Chef, so so good. good. Um, also, if you love the bear, you would love Chef, and if you love Chef, you would love the bear. Just throwing it out there. If you love the bear, you should watch Maddie Matheson. We're plug Maddie Matheson. Love Maddie show. Matheson. And if you didn't see his Emmy speech, one of the best speeches from the Emmys. But he has a potty mouth for those of you that that's. A yes, he has adult language. Yeah. Um, yeah. And speaking of adult language, just a bit. <laughs> Lion King for me felt a little masturbatory. And I, I'm afraid to do a follow up here, but I was going to say in what way? Uh, so, what yeah, that that, I, that, that's why I would like a follow up here. Uh, in what so way? So it feels like John was just being like, "Look, I've got this new technology. Let oh, me show it off. Okay, so and y- let me do this for me. Got not it. Not because we need this in the world. So, not because so you by that you meant he was stroking his ego. Hey. <laughs> like, if, if a college film student was like, "Oh, I've got this." Let me okay. let me show and, and if and if it was made by a college film student, no, it had no. been that good. Well, the college film student would, would never have that budget that he had right. because he had a tremendous budget. No, I but I would well, say like he did, say. he did introduce amazing technology. Like I would say like that was probably the stuff he used was probably a great jumping off point for when Cameron was like, oh, I'm doing Avatar, you know, two, three, four, five. Right. Let me talk with Favreau because he's got a lot of really cool stuff going on. Yeah, so he's a genius. Yeah. I don't know that we needed that movie. I wish he had done something new. Well, I'm not, I'm not, it's absolutely not realistic. Also, he did a great job in The Jungle Book. I will say uh, that was Jungle a good... That was a good yeah. Book. If we're yeah. talking remakes, yeah. that was a really good remake. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that was a good one. But I'm not saying like it could have been done by a college student, but like if you had Jungle Book and a film student did that movie, it would have been a much bigger success. You see what I'm saying? Like the yeah, spec I mean, I guess like, 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 oh my God, like what an pizza. essay in like... Filmography? Yeah, yeah. That's a that's a, yeah. that's a, it a it's a correct word. Isa word. The only the only Isa. the only live uh, shot in that movie is the sunrise, right? Correct. Everything else is is it's animated. CGI. Basically CGI. animated. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty amazing. It is amazing. It's amazing. It's a no, gorgeous film. I I acknowledge it for what it is, but yeah. I'm with you. It wasn't necessary. Yeah. Yeah. And the original Timon and Pumbaa, Nathan Lane, and, um, oh my god, his name's escaping me, were great. Bernie Sabella. Yes, thank you. Uh-huh. Uh, but I did think out of that, I if I didn't love the original so much, I really thought Rogan and Billy, uh, Billy on the Street, I forgot his last oh, name, uh, also from uh, Bros, the movie. Yeah. He wrote it and starred in it. What is the last name? Billy, it begins with an, I want to say E, uh, it's, uh, no, but... Uh, Billy, someone will say it in the chat. But yeah, I thought he, not Billy Eilish, but Billy on the street, I'll say, and Seth Rogen were great, Simone and Pumbaa. But yeah, nothing will beat uh, Ernie and, and Nathan. No, uh, not at all. Very nice. Eichner, I said EI. I was right there. I was right there. Um, John Favreau as Dreamfinder, LOL. I mean, also, if we didn't have. If, I if we it. didn't have the amazing other suggestions, I really love Jack Black and Will Ferrell Jack a Black. lot. Jack Black. Black. Yeah. yeah. Jack, Jack Black, Black is the dream great. finder. No would be Seth, great. He, yeah. Or, I mean, Seth Rogen's a producer. He also, big fan of the channel. <laughs> <laughs> big fan of the he channel. He should be. He should be. Um, do we want to walk and talk? We'll get a nice seat for the Disney on Broadway concert series. There's one show, I believe, at 645. Sure. And, uh... We, we may need to scoot to a... Guardians? Oh, Did no. we get called? Oh. No, we didn't. It's oh, just okay. our hotel telling us we got to leave. <laughs> Thanks. Also, just for you, everyone knows, uh, Guardians will let you on a little bit later if you miss your your window. They don't oh, turn people away. Oh. Yeah. That is how cool this yeah. is. Uh, I mean, I and I wouldn't say push it because sometimes you might get a, a crazy cast member, but I mean, I've shown up seven, eight hours later, and they're like, "Yeah, it's all right." Just go ahead. Like, <laughs> like if you're like only an hour late, they really don't care. But like you, they're not gonna get. If you got lucky enough to get a boarding group, I don't think they're turning you away. Nice. And if you paid for a lightning lane in Mr. Window, they're definitely gonna let you on if you paid for it. Let's go get good seats for the Disney on Broadway concert series tonight. We did. And Heidi, get Heidi and Gavin tonight. The whole thing just stopped and we I know I am, but like it was like Oh wow. Yeah, no, it was wild. Yeah. It was like um the old like film movies when the Like the reel comes off, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Recovery pass. That was very nice. Very nice, very yeah. nice. So we got our 
test track in we a few went decades. We test track. Haven't done that in a few years. Yeah, good time to get it in. Test track is changing over the next, uh, I mean, <laughs> the, five years, we'll say, six years. Thank goodness. Yeah. So if you want, I mean, the ride system itself isn't changing, kind of like the splash um, refurbishment that's going on over to Tiana. But yes, this, this current version of Test Track is changing. Noah Fine Art here on the right. Noah Fine Art does really cool, like, it looks like they're glow-in-the-dark paintings, uh, as well as the Disney and Mickey. I mean, if you see, uh, like, we'll show you some of these. This is a cool one. I'm sorry. Goodness. I like Mickey painting Walt. Yeah, Walt in the train is great. Yeah, wow. very, very nice stuff. <laughs> Noah's here every year. Also, every time I pass it, I got to tell everybody, oh, that's a cool Fantasmic right there, too. Oh, and they're signing. So if you uh, ever have passed this, another fun fact is you see these festival flags all around for Festival of the Arts on the lamppost. But here in the village, they also celebrate the festivals. Their lampposts also have the Festival of the Arts 2024 banners. Here comes the train coming by. And we found this out on Friday, is that the characters do move. Their arms move and things happen. It was the craziest thing. We just happened to be recording it and their arms went up like zombies. <laughs> One of the eyes turned red. Uh, people in the village, I'm not joking. This is not a joke. This is not a drill. This is real life. It was pretty crazy. If you're enjoying the stream, please hit the like button. It really does help. We're only seven likes away from 150. Let's make it happen. And it looks like they're getting ready to start this concert series. Look at mid-century Mickey. Yeah. The scooter art. Yeah, great. Can I have that living room? It's, I call that, uh, what did I call it the other day when we were walking around? I don't even know if I said it on a stream or not, but uh, a carousel of progress, Mickey and Minnie. Yes. yes. Oh, <laughs> so really nice shorts, gustos there. Shorts, like, kind of person? Yeah, I can wear shorts pretty much or anything. I used to like shovel snow in shorts. Um, it's got to be real cold. I mean, if it's very windy, I might. You might see me in pants or jeans. Um, yeah, and I also just run hot, like especially my lower half. It's really just my extremities. Like my hands and toes are always like the first things to get cold. But besides that, I'm pretty much, I'm, I'm solid. I was saying earlier, like I was just gonna wear a spirit jersey, but when I saw it was gonna be in the forties, I'm like, I'll rock the sweatshirt just in case. What's again, very nice about coming on a weekday, especially Tuesdays and Wednesdays are the least busy, uh, is that one, lines are a lot shorter, but two, you can get a seat for the concert series pretty much showing up five minutes before or right as the show's happening. Weekends are much busier. Also, they run the Broadway concert series every single night as opposed to like Food and Wine, Garden Rocks. Um, the major acts are on weekends and they have cover bands during the week. Let's see if we can get a good seat starting in five minutes. Also, during the day, they have the Animation Academy here uh, at 1230 and 130. Also, they get a nice uh, commercial for the Disney on Broadway, all the actual Broadway shows. Da -da -da -da. Lots of seats. Welcome the original stars of Disney on Broadway. Let's see if we Freaky can uh, and Mary Poppins, Heidi Blickenstaff, and good? Gavin Lee. What's right here? Yeah. And if you keep this right. and greatest pleasure, I'll take you welcome you tonight. And now, please welcome the original stars of Disney on Broadway. Freaky Freaky Let us pull up a chair as the dining room proudly presents. Y'all did it. Be our guest, be our guest, put our service to the test. Diane Atkin, Ram Jumdeck, Shelly! 
Join the Disney on Broadway concert series. Hit that like button. Let's go. No. Nope. Okay. I think the time has come for you to share with us the role that you were born to play. Oh. Ha <laughs> You guess? Okay. When Mary Poppins first debuted. Chief Leaf, Hercules is coming to Broadway. I asked my pal, Gavin Lee, to recreate the iconic role of Bert the Chimney Sweeper. Hey! Hey! Part of our playing for eight years in the show. The the was, every single night, <laughs> I got to tap dance upside down on the ceiling. <laughs> Nailed it. Ah, anybody see that? I got to see that. I was I totally, absolutely awed. That is Disney on Broadway magic. Okay, since we're doing fantasy casting, Gav, I'm wearing the right color. Do I get to be your Mary Poppins? You sure do, Heidi. <laughs> All right, Jim, how about we start off this little Poppins medley with my favorite song that we got to sing in the show? With talents on paper and strings, you can have your own set of wings. With your feet on the ground, you're a bird in flight. With your fists up in tight, to the string of your kite. Oh. Oh, really? When the day is clear. 
Ray and Oda Nelly. Mary makes the sunshine light. Oh, apple juice is blooming all around her. The daffodils are smiling at the top. When Mary holds your hand, it feels so grand. Your heart starts beating like a big brass band. You've got enough brass for Oh, it's a jolly holiday with Mary. Now that is Mary that we love. All right, Mary. I'm going to serenade you. Jim, oh. take it easy. <laughs> it's true that Agnes and Bessie have wasted her women. Kathy and Dorothy sent you spinning. Ethel's delightful, food is disarming. Gertie, Harriet, Ivy, charming. Janice is special and great and sweet. Louise is smashing and made the tree. Nancy, Olivia, Peggy, Jane. Do with you a couple of times again. Rachel and Sarah, Tina, a sauce. You have to admit. Jolly good sports, but cream in the crop. Tim in the top. It's Mary Poppins and Dave. Let's go! <laughs> okay, so everybody knows what Freaky Friday is about, right? Mom, daughter, not getting along, Disney magic, they switch places, everybody learns a fantastic lesson. Okay, well, I'm a parent, <laughs> Gavin's a parent, I have a feeling we probably have one or two parents out there who bought the tickets, right, to Disney World. Kids, thank your parents when you get home tonight. Thank you, thank you. All right, well, this song, this moment in this song is when my character realizes that her parenting of this beautiful teenage girl is kind of done. 
and it is time to let her girl go. What is this feeling that I'm feeling? Like I shot with the ceiling. Is it only the caffeine and the sugar and the pizza, dear me? I had three slices of that pizza. Our carbs, the feeling that I'm feeling. Like I'm losing and dealing. It's alarming and appealing and somehow healing. Will be blue 
and you guys will be there. When I finally do what frozen things do in summer, hiding microphone tech.
Yes. Oh my God, just to thank you. Thank this wonderful band one more time. Yeah! And we want to thank all of you for choosing to be our guest tonight. See what I did there? You're so cheeky, Gavin. It's cold and we love you for sitting there. You warmed us up. So we love you, we love our band, and Gavin, I want to thank you. Oh. I absolutely love sharing this stage with you. Right back at you, Heidi. In fact, you are my queen. Don't tell my husband, but that makes you my king. <laughs> ah! Speaking of kings, that gives me an idea for us. Oh, uh, my You king. know what my favorite Disney on Broadway musical is. I do. Gavin loves newsies! I love newsies! I love it. I'm a huge fan of For real. Tell Any other fans out there? Me? Woo! Casting Gav, put on your fantasy newsboy cap. Never mind. Speaking of kings, I thought it was Lion King. Dang. Good song. Time step. Right. Yeah, I can do that. The triple. Yeah. Very good. Yeah, yeah. So good. Yeah. Thank you for yeah, tech team, making them sound good and look good. Yeah, tech. Performances. No doubt, especially when I'm on stage. <laughs> no, no jump rope. <laughs> you jumped rope. <laughs> now he's fired. How do you feel? <laughs> uh, I might use the opera over here if that's all right. Look at me, I'm the king of Epcot. You are the king of Epcot. <laughs> Sing and eat. I'm <laughs> here at the. Have you seen 
Newsies. No. <gasps> no sé. That one. I know, as they're like performing all the songs, I'm like, hmm, what movie should I fall asleep to? I'm like, ooh, Mary Poppins has been a while. That's uh, pretty cool. I mean, is anyone not going? If we're all going, it's fine. I could wait. No, 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 no. no. We, no we got you. I might just we'll, drop this on a table. No, we'll rotate. Because we'll I also rotate. have need, but we can the stream calls. I'll, uh, I'll run it out quick, and then I'll grab beers first. Okay. If that works. We'll keep it safe. We will. Keep it secret. Well, not secret. Not, not too secret. Not secret at all. In fact, share with your friends. Like, subscribe. All those things that Pete would tell you to do. I don't know the Heidi uh, Heidi Blankenstaff. Is Blankenstaff. that right? Blankenstaff. 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 She was fabulous. She was very good. And if we're being real honest, uh -huh. she was too young when. Little Mermaid came out, but I like her better than Sherry Renee just on that one song. See, I thought they said that she was in the original cast. Well, yeah, but she would have been in like her 20s. So was she a sister? I don't know. She, she might have just been chorus. Or, yeah, that's true. I don't know. I don't know. But it I mean, it, it came out in 07, so. Yeah. Or opened in 07, not came yeah. out. IDK. She would have been too young to be Ursula, but now. She'd be great. Better than Sherry Renee. Oh. I stand I she's, stand she's, firm. Uh, she's pretty great. She's oh, pretty great. Yeah. Now I want to go back and listen to Freaky Friday also because that song. That song was great too. <gasps> yeah. Girl mom. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. She's only two. We got time. <gasps> oh no. But that was lovely. Gavin was astounding. And I got to see him too. Um we so I, I should probably wait until Pete's here for this, but I actually, like, we got to go backstage and we met Gavin, we met Ashley, yeah. because Amy's mom went to college with Rebecca Luker, the late, great Rebecca Luker, who is from Alabama. I forgot she passed, yeah. Yeah, went to Montevallo, so did Terry, and so, because of their connection, we got to go backstage, stood on stage at the New Amsterdam, like... I saw Gavin Lee tap dance on the ceiling. It was... Life-changing. Absolutely life-changing. Over the rooftop, stepping high. All right, ladies first, or do you really need to go? You both no, can go. No, I can... I'm, well, here. that's true. This is your thing. I'm golden. All right, well, I got to go. Yeah, I'll use it just because we're here. Yeah, why not? Who knows where the next restaurant is? <laughs> I mean, technically one in every country, but... Look at me, I'm the king. Hi everyone, if you're just joining us, we're here at Epcot tonight. Look, I'm in a hoodie because it is a bit chilly. It is in the 40s here, which is um, what we call Arctic for Florida, but not bad for, for the rest of you around the country. Let me uh, see if I can get some better lighting. I don't wanna, she left her bag here too, so I'm gonna grab the bag and the water bottle and move over here. Look at me, I can carry a million things. All right. Hi. Thanks for hanging out with us tonight. Um, we still have more Festival of the Arts action. We're not done yet. But tonight was all about art and the entertainment. And what's better than having two Broadway stars uh, sing some of our favorite Disney classics uh, right there for us. It was amazing. If you haven't hit the like button yet, please do so. We're at 169 likes. With, If I do my math correctly, carry this, carry that. 31 likes away from 200, which would be amazing. That's such an amazing number. Whenever the stream's at 200, like, it just... I scroll through my analytics at night, and I just go, man, they like me. They really like me. So a lot more fun coming up and happening. Someone said Pete. Um, it is a bit chilly. I mean, it's in the 40s. I guess I could have worn pants. I'm in shorts. Sitting still during the show, I started to get a little chilly, but mostly my extremities, and I've never... I, I hate hot water in the um, restrooms when you go because here 360 days out of the year it's warm enough outside but there's five days a year where it's like this where it's in the 40s but today because my hand was out holding the camera and the gimbal and sorry if it was shaking i started to like uh, you can see it now a little bit it's a little little shiver um my extremities were cold so i just uh the hot water was appreciated tonight so thank you disney for making the switch from hot to cold for tonight I start a fire. I'm practicing for Survivor. <laughs> All right, let's say hi to some chat, see some things I missed. Sorry, I try not to talk during the shows. If I see like a quick chat while applause is happening, I'll answer. 
but you got to respect the show that's going on. So let's see what I, where I left off and just say hi to some people and answer some questions. If you have anything you want to say, throw it in the chat. And the living's easy. Sorry, I had to finish it. That's like when you walk into a crowd and you a crowd and you just go like somewhere, and then you just stop, and then like usually one person in a big crowded room will be like over. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Rebecca says, only Broadway show I've seen on Broadway was Les Mis. Good one. Another Is great so one. Right? Yeah. Uh, but said, I saw uh, Wicked and Phantom uh, in the West End in London, which is basically, you know, Broadway quality. Very, very good show. Rich. Yeah. That's the OG. That is the OG. When we actually formed America, we were like, we need a West End. Uh, should we do it in New York? We'll call it Broadway. <laughs> and that's fake history, Pete Carney. Hi, Pat Mix 75. Uh, hi, Peaches. We can walk. Because walking we can. warms up. And walking and talking. Uh, Chief Leaf says Disney's also working on a Coco Broadway show. Really? I didn't hear that. Again, that's according to Chief. But I do like breaking news. But that would be a great Broadway show as well. Yes. <laughs> me likey. Sorry, that's uh. A me gusta. Yeah, me gusta, me gusta. Pat Mc seventy five says I'm getting an overdose of Boss Baby lately. Oh, not not Disney, so we can't talk about it. Greg Kramer says I'm a new subscriber. I'm enjoying your stream. Thanks so much for subscribing, Greg. Be like Greg. Become a subscriber. Um, let's just see what beers are here. Do you like any of these? I owe you a beer. You bought me two. What's up? Blake in the house tonight. Uh, honestly, my friend, whatever looks good to you. I mean, I like beer, so they all look good to me. But what would you like? Um, honestly, Pete, we, we have just been called for our, our boarding group. Okay. Ooh. And if we want to get a good seat for... For Luminous, a good seat, a good standing locale. Yeah, I'm you go around and do that? I'm wondering if we might need to go walk and do that. I don't yeah, want to go not. your style, though. No, 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 go. I, I, I do this alone all the time. But go and come back. If I'm still in the park, I'll save you a spot. Or if I'm still live, I'll save you a spot, obviously. We'll watch you on the stream. Yeah, we'll yeah. find you. So, yeah, if I'm not streaming, I'll just text me. But if I'm streaming, easy to find. All right. Have fun on uh, Guardians. Thanks, bro. Yeah. There they go. Avery and Kate. See you later. Now, what, do, what should I get, Blake? What do you want? Oh, oh boy. I think I'm going to do a 60 minute. 60 minutes? Yeah, let's do it. Please. Please. $12. Hooray! It's approved. So exciting. I'm good. Thank you so much. Thanks for being here. Stay warm. <laughs> Oh man, I'm in such a Disney song singing mood. So, tonight's presentation of Luminous, the Symphony of Us, is at 9 p.m. There is another Disney on Broadway at 8. And that Animation Academy happens during the day from 12.30. Uh, not from, but at 12.30 and 1.30. Uh, the Animation Academy, like the Disney on Broadway, uh, is 30 minutes or less. Uh, today he was drawing characters from Disney Pixar's The Incredibles, which is cool. All right, let's continue making our way around the world. Actually, I have an idea. Um, I just want to know something very quickly. By the way, the artist table is the name of the booth here in America. It's delicious fare, brushed with flavor. They have the duck and dumplings, which we liked, uh, and the hummingbird cake. They also have some beers here. The pineapple daydream IPA was very good. 
uh, as well as uh, the jazz berry was interesting, and the peanut butter and chocolate milk stout was good too. Uh, you do a beer fly. They also have a migration Pinot Noir from Sonoma. That booth is right there if you're walking towards the restrooms. But while we walk, I just want to see something quickly. This is the Festival of the Arts, but if you're looking to visit the art of Disney, this is open year-round right here on the right side of the American Adventure Pavilion. If you're looking for some Disney fun facts, uh, you know, Disney tries to make all their buildings look bigger than they actually are using forest perspective. Here in America, they try to make this building look shorter than it is. It's gigantic, uh, but they try to make it look like three stories when in actuality, it's much taller. There is a 7.30 American Adventure. I kind of want to see it if we can get in in time and I could warm up, which would be amazing. And we haven't done the American Adventure on a stream in I think over a year. And I never say I want to warm up, but it's in the 40s, so I'm in shorts. I am rocking the Adventures by Carney hoodie. Is this the American Adventure? Yes. Woohoo! Enjoy the show. Thank you so much. Oh, it's quite warm, and I've never been more excited to say that. I had to ask, you know, act, I had to act a little touristy. Is this the um, American Adventure? Because you are going in the exit. They're working on the other side. If you've never seen the show, it's awesome. <laughs> Again, I won't be talking during the show, but... This is an iconic show here at Disney. If you haven't seen it, you'll see it now. It gives me a chance to get out of that cold, cold weather. And there's also great music in this too. There's some songs. And since we're talking about um, art and performances tonight, after just watching the Disney Broadway concert series, more music is great. I'm in the mood for some music. So fun fact. Most of the time, no Wi-Fi is the best way to go here. But once you go inside this theater, you need the Wi-Fi. Uh, let's see what else is going on in the chat before the show starts. In about two minutes. Theme park, uh, theme parks assembles here in the chat. We saw them earlier live streaming. Go follow their channel as well. Let's see what else I missed. Hi, D-Lo. Great to see D-Lo here. Hi, Gil Gatling. Deal a ton, everybody. Please hit the like button. Yeah, Ursula was great. Hi, Ms. Flipper97. Uh, hello, Pac Man Music Man. We got Pat Mac75 and Pac Man Music Man. Great Kramer, thanks so much for being a new subscriber. If you're a new subscriber, you want some love, say hi in the chat. But thanks to all the lurkers, too. I appreciate you. Hello, uh, Daniel Berry, Sports Highlights. Great to see you. New York Tiki Bar. Loved the Ursula. She did crush that song. Even Glenn Ritchie was like Dan from his recovery room over here at Disney at one of the resorts. New York Keyboard. So my mom took me to see Newsies. That's really cool. I didn't see it on Broadway. I wish I got a chance to see that. Tap dancing was amazing. I had to learn how to tap in my high school production of How to Succeed and just never lose it. Katie Shiner said, uh, get an empanada. I think we will when we walk that way. We're just doing a quick warm up. And that's, you know, it's cold when the hood is on. Yeah, I had to protect my ears. My ears and fingers got so cold during the show. Uh, Leo, Epcot Fan 21 says, Pete, how far do you live from the resort? I live, it depends on which park I'm going to, but I'm where I'm parking. But I mean, the closest thing to me is Disney Springs, which is a 5K from my house. 3.12 miles. Because <laughs> I always joke, if we left our very front door and went, I think it's exactly 3.12 miles to Disney Springs. Or actually, technically, the closest thing is Typhoon Lagoon. That's a 5K away, which is like the parking lot of Disney Springs. So it's one, two lights, and a stop sign. Stop sign, light, yeah, two lights and a stop sign would be Typhoon Lagoon or Disney Springs. And then from there, you go north or 
west to the other parks. Oh, Suzanne says, this is Glenn's favorite. He's hating missing this with you. I wish you were here, guys. Two Brothers is such a good song. Here we go, it's starting. Everyone enjoy the show. I got to do the speech once. America did not exist. Four centuries of work, bloodshed, loneliness, and fear created this land. We built America, and the process made us Americans. A new breed, rooted in all races, stained and tinted with all colors, a seeming ethnic anarchy. Then, in a little time, we became more alike than we were different. A new society, not great but fitted by our very thoughts for riches. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Twain. Okay. Perhaps you recognize those inspiring words from one of America's great writers. Uh, no, Dr. Franklin, I don't recall writing it in my pen. Oh my, of course not. There from the pen of John Steinbeck, back in the 20th century. Why, it seems he has nearly the same spirit as the founding fathers themselves. Well, listen to the proud younger statesman. Mr. Twain, pride is one of our national passions. Even those who overcome it are proud of their humility. Easy now. I was born honest. Fortunately, more often. Oh, oh, oh. Dr. Franklin is our genuine American antique. I suppose our story began for you. Actually, it started long before even my time. It started when dreams and visions of a new world were shrouded in the myths and legends of an old world. Finally, through those early mists of uncertainty, sailed the first great adventurers. This tiny ship is the main problem. Carrying pilgrims in search of their dream, a dream of religious freedom. So, if you'll pardon an old man's pride, for me, this is the beginning of the American adventure. Yeah, yeah. So who not help 
pay for it. Parliament's colonial policy is both arbitrary and unjust. That's nonsense. The same thing that cost you three ships a pound cost us six. First, we spoke out with our voices. Then, we spoke out with action, with a growing defiance that led to the Martian Department. Hear ye! Hear ye! By royal proclamation, His Majesty King George III, hereby sends... Look at this! They're closing the harbor! But surely we could work something out. Our king feels we brought him. Your king, you Tory! Either we cut the prize from England, or we submit our women! Finally, I had come to speak with one voice in a declaration of independence. Ah, good evening, Mr. Garrison. Have you finished the new draft yet? Those are new drafts all over the floor, Dr. Franklin. It seems one stroke of this pen brings two changes from Congress. I told you, John Adams, you would written this. Oh, I had no ambition. You can write circles around him. Mr. Adams has not been prisoner in this law for 17 days. I shall continue tomorrow. You must continue now. Thomas, it is difficult to make 13 clocks chime at the same time. We must carefully justify the separation. And Dr. Franklin, while you slept soundly through the meeting this afternoon, we did manage to justify the separation. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain inalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And to secure these rights, Folks found out we, the people, did 
didn't yet mean all the people. Folk like Frederick Douglass. Even amidst the cricket song here along Mark Twain's beloved Mississippi, I hear the noise of chain and the crack of the whip. Yet, there's hope. Hope born from the words of Harriet Beecher's song. Uncle Tom's cabin is given our nation a key, which can unlock the slave prison to millions. Anti-slavery is no longer a thing to be prevented. It is grown to abundant to be stuffed out. Way 
in that first century. But like Susan B. Anthony, we're still speaking out. And why shouldn't we, Mr. Twain? As Tom Emerson said, this content is the first necessity of progress. And, uh, pray I don't pay the name. It is that young photograph and pepper. What? It's great. All is filled with new inventions. The photos have a head. Called magnificent steam engine. And don't forget me, Telephone, the true hallmark of progress. Aha! The old cow scotch. That's right. Carnegie Steel built this place. Aye, and it will soon build a new concert hall for New York. Oh, Carnegie Hall, eh? It never lasts. Donating libraries. And the Dutch grand idea. It's an age for grand idea. An era for innovation. A god for new awareness. A kind to challenge the frontiers of a new century. Yes. <laughs> 
I hope everyone enjoyed that. One of the best shows. Guys, need bye. Sorry. Sorry. No, you're good. No worries. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Love it. Although I will say, tonight I was wide awake, really loving it, enjoying it. But sometimes when you come in from the heat in the summer, and it's air excuse me, air conditioned. You, uh, man, that is a great nap spot, too. But America, spread your golden wings. Sail on freedom's wind. What I was going to say, instead of ending the stream now or after impressions, do you want to see another Disney on Broadway concert show? It's just starting right now. And then we watch Luminous from my favorite spot in Italy. Or... We can do impressions to France and leave. <laughs> so I'll give everyone a chance to vote because I have to run to the opera again. Sorry, I've been doing a half a gallon of water a day plus a few beers since we've been here with Avery and Kate. So I'm going to let everyone vote in the chat now. Would you rather do impressions to France, which I have no issue with, or would you rather do another Disney uh, on Broadway concert series and then do Luminous uh, Symphony of Us from Italy let me know as I visit the restroom but I'm going to put the camera over here for now and I shall be right back water bottle in the theater. No! All right. I'll be right back. I'm back. What do we think? What are we voting for here? Uh, do you want to go see uh, more Disney on Broadway and then Luminous from Italy, or do you want to go see Person to France? I'm okay with either one. You tell me. I'm going to read the chat in a second. Let's see what we got. 
Also, I left my water bottle in the theater, so we have to go grab that. Hopefully, they'll let me. All right, impressions. Impressions, impressions. Everyone wants France, all right. Everyone wants impressions. When's the last show? And how fast do I have to get there? Do I have time to get my water bottle? Everyone wants impressions. All right, someone look it up for me really quick. When is that last show? Um, question, I love my water bottle in the theater that just exited, like that last show. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I left my water bottle in the last show in the oh. third to last row. Yeah. The ground. <laughs> oh, your kite. Oh. Thank you. No worries. Fly your kite and sun. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. No problem. I got up and I was walking and I said, I was like, uh, hmm, I feel like. I think someone might have grabbed it. All right. No worries. Someone might have someone might have grabbed it. Where were they uh return it? Um well they gave it to a cast member the closest um the closest uh Spot is over in the gift shop. I don't know that it would still be there. All right. That's where it ended up. Yeah, all right. No, it was just right in the middle of the walkway. I put it down during the show. Yeah, it's not in. Someone probably picked it up. All right. I appreciate your help, though. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Join the ranks of 14 other water bottles. It was empty, at least. I drank all the water. I was doing a good job. All right. It wasn't invented by corny water bottles, so, I mean, easy to identify. Yep. Yep. We got it. Hey. I said someone probably picked it up. Thank you so much. Disney magic. Thank you so much, Doug. Thank you so much. About um, were you in, Doug? Yeah, I didn't know that. We got it. All right. Does anyone know the last impression? Suzanne, I still have the hat. I didn't lose the hat. <laughs> I have the important stuff. <laughs> 
No, I just the water bottle when I put it down because it's in my pocket. Thanks again. All right. Time. David Long. So this calls for a celebratory drink. I don't know. I've been trying not to spend so much money at Disney. I'm so. Believe me, I want one. What's up, Kevin Sparrow? Ben. All right, everyone voted for a person to France, but what time is the last show? Does anyone know? And yes, we're only 15 likes away from 200. Great point. Izzo, what's up, Izzo? If everyone could hit the like button, it really does help. Please, it really helps. And if you're brand new, consider subscribing. If you want some love, say hi. We'll give you some love. I also recommend, just because we do a lot of live streams, get that bell on, hit all notifications. You won't miss any of our live streams. It runs until 85. When's the last show start? Huh. Right, we're going to do it because everybody wants it. We took a vote of another Disney on Broadway Contra series, which we already did one of them tonight. So if you missed it, you can rewind or watch on the replay. Or should we do an impression to France? And by an overwhelming response, everybody wanted... Uh, uh, I almost said Reflections de France. Impressions de France. So we're headed that way. It is truly liquid magic. Pat makes 75. Great. We got the water bottle back. All right. Let's go ahead to Impressions. I mean, it's only quarter after eight now. So actually, you can see the Magic Kingdom fireworks going off right there. Kind of cool where you can see this like you get the fireworks on the left side of your screen spaceship earth over here i mean look at that shot right there again that left corner bottom corner is going to be your magic kingdom fireworks hello oh hey guys I just took a vote. I was like, guys, should I go to Italy and get a good spot for Luminous or Impressions to France? Because everybody was like, do Impressions after this. And everybody wanted Impressions to France. Why don't we get you a good spot in Italy? We can do that. And you come back and meet us after. Okay. If we can get out in time, I'm in. As long as the fireworks haven't started. But yes, on the bridge in Italy, the best spot. Get the high point on the bridge. It. Yeah. Lock it down. But even if I don't make it back in time, enjoy that spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll see you in a little bit. Hopefully, if we don't see them, we love Avery and Kate. But hopefully we see them in a little bit. There's some, another one of the festival shops. A lot of Mandalorian stuff in there. Over here, the Disney Gallery Artist. So this has kind of become this year where you don't see too many specific names, more just Disney Gallery Artist. Artists that do Disney stuff. They still get, I believe, a commission, but uh, a lot of tents just underneath the Disney umbrella this year because you know Disney is gonna get theirs we talk a lot about restaurants spice road table so underrated give it a try we were talking the other day and I was shocked Lauren listed it as her current favorite in Epcot and she's the pickiest eater so try everything twice I kind of want, oh, there's no line. I kind of want to grab a beer before we do the show. Why not have a little beer? It's actually keeping me warm because it's 40 something degrees right now. How's it going? I would love a beer, please. I'll do a, uh, they're both in bottle. What's, uh, I don't know. They're both in bottle, no draft, right? Um, hmm. I don't know. What do you think's better? I'll do whatever. Oh. I'll just do, I guess I'll just do a, uh, okay. a blonde, please. That is all. Card.
Thank you so much. All right. Off we go. We went with the blonde from Morocco. I was just trying to think of a good place to grab a, a beer before the show. Just have a little beer ski in France. Make it in in time. Oh, I love these. All right, gotta keep moving. So much to see, so much to do. Want to make everybody happy here too. If you've just joined us in the last hour, or so we're here at Disney's Epcot Festival of the Arts. We we're checking out. Uh, today was more about art and entertainment, and uh, we're doing a few rides too. Well, I guess shows, presentations. Oh no, I have to find Avery or Kate. Are you watching? Do you have an Apple charger? I'm at 10%. We might not even make it through the show. I didn't bring a charger because I, I thought we were going to be done at eight. I told Lauren I'd either be done at eight or just stay, or if I'm having fun, stay longer. But I was tired when I left the house. I was like, we'll see, but I have energy. So I need to find an Apple charging cord. If we're gonna do this. All right, we have 16 minutes till the next performance. So when is that? Uh, that is 22, okay. I have a charger, I just don't have a cable. <laughs> so, let's figure this out as a group. Again, I have a charger. I just don't have an iPhone cable. I'm gonna see uh, if there's any Disney magic I can find. I'm gonna see if there's anyone around that'll give me a quick charge. Cause this is a quick charger. Hold on one second, everyone. Or again, if Avery or Kate are watching, do you have an iPhone cable? I have a charger. I'll be right back. cast members in France have the iPhone cord. I have the portable battery, I just have the wrong cord. Thank you so much to Izzo who paid for this beer. You're amazing, Izzo. Thank you.
Oh, thanks, Captain Kirk. Shout out to Captain Kirk and Lady Kirk who are watching. Yes, Lauren liked the cauliflower and spice for a table as well. Hazel says it's 20 degrees in Cleveland. Whew. Again, I didn't think I was going to go past 8. That was kind of like, tonight I'm going to go to all 8. But I'm having a good time with everyone. And I hope you're having a good time. So I'm willing to go longer. I just got to find an iPhone cable. And I own so many fuel rods. I just am going to be in pain spending more money on a fuel rod. It's just going to pain me. I could do it. I don't even know where a fuel rod station is, to be honest. But maybe we could get lucky and find someone just a friend anyone know anyone at epcot or i'll just go make a friend all right let's here's the way to do this you got to mingle with a group you got to mingle with a group that's hanging out see if we can find somebody at like a table and just i have the the speed charger so even if we can get like a five minute charge it should last us Let's ask, honestly, let's ask this hostess. Hey. Hi. Hi. Is there any chance that you have an iPhone cable that I could borrow for five minutes? No worries. Thank you so much. We're here outside Les Chefs de France. Here's the menu, your appetizers, your entrees. It's not bad, honestly. Um, some of the entree pricing for what we had was okay. Thank you so much. Was uh, pretty good. It wasn't bad. I'd say, honestly, like it's fair pricing for the entrees. But again, not like the greatest value for the food. And not like I would avoid it. It's... It's fair, it's right? I put it right in the middle of value and food in terms of restaurants. And again, that's not a bad review. Again, it's it's good. Everything would be like good on a scale of like terrible to excellent. No luck? All right. Thank you so much. Let's see if we could find like a family. Families have things. I just need them to stop and trust me to use their cable for five minutes. 10 minutes till impressions to France. I don't know. If we don't find a cable, the stream's going to end before that anyway. We have about... We get 10% battery a minute ago, which it's about... It'll buy us 15 minutes left. I also don't have... Dun, dun, dun. Nine minutes. Let me see. I have an idea. What if we go into the theater and see if someone will let us borrow it during the show? I have a random question. Is there any way you have an iPhone charger and I can give it back? I can borrow it for like five minutes? Sorry, we don't. Okay. Hi guys, you're just gonna need to pack this charger inside. We're just looking around. Yeah, but still. Maybe somebody in here will let us borrow one. Anyone want to lend me an iPhone charger for five minutes? I'm a nice guy and I'm staying for the show. I have a battery pack, I just need a, just the cord. Just an iPhone cord. No. All right. 